working hello <laughs> hello there <laughs> welcome in let me see if my i hope my music isn't too loud while i'm talking hopefully everything wants to be working correctly <laughs> hello there hello plat ass hello melanube hello lolly hello christy hello serendipity welcome in i hope i think it looks like my i accidentally started uh stream without confirming the changed uh title <laughs> but i think i updated it correctly so it should say veronaville currently oh my goodness thank you so much for the subscription let me get my activity feed up so i can see what's going on here thank you so much plat asp it was very kind for six months in advance advance <laughs> not advanced yeah <laughs> We need this evil Herbert. I'm so frustrated because the other, there's a second Herb emote, which I have in the Discord, which for those who don't know, I did set up a Discord. I think probably the majority of y'all here I've seen in there, but I can, um, I got a little command now. I also updated the bot to be named Nutty Bot. I wanted him to be named, named or be Knut, Knutty Bot, like uh, Knut Futa. I wanted it to just be Knut, but that name was actually taken. So there's somebody out there who already has Knut Bot going on but so we have Kennedy bot and he is in the discord as well um but yeah so uh but anyway <laughs> i did have a emote that's supposed to be herb like crying and being dramatic and it's still on pending and i don't know what to do if it's like if i should delete it and try it again if i should adjust something about it i don't really understand why so Unfortunately, there's just one herb emote, but I still haven't been able to um, have the time to sit down and draw some other ones in general. But yeah, and I'm sorry, I, you're homesick from work. I'm sorry to hear that, Christy. And I, yeah, you didn't even get notified. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of why the Discord is helpful, too, because if you set, I think I've set it in general so that it won't always ping you, but I think you can set it up to where any post within a channel pings you or something, but that's also why it's helpful to have the Discord all set up. Um, and hello, Sim, Sim Salutation. There was also somebody who subscribed while I was offline, and I very much appreciate it. I don't know if um, they maybe don't want me to say their name out of out of just, you know, I, I understand. I, I subscribe to people offline as well a lot because I'm too nervous to hear them say my name and stuff. But thank you for the person that did. <laughs> And there's also been some follows offline, so I appreciate that as well. <laughs> Hello, Deli Sims. Welcome in. Yeah, so I'm excited to um, give this a try. I have not ever played, like, regular Sims 2 on stream, technically. we The very first time I streamed, I attempted some Sims 2, uh, but it went very badly. <laughs> it was on YouTube, and my it was my setup that did not work out, my internet did not like the stream and it had to fix some things but yeah i think i think it's gonna be interesting i um i'm not sure how many households we will get through in the time we're streaming my my sort of minimum i'd like to go three hours recently we've been going to four hours so we probably will go that long um and usually when i'm actually recording for youtube i get like two episodes per family or per like household and those are usually one hour worth of recording per episode so technically we should be able to get a couple of households in probably um we'll see <laughs> depending on how things go i mean there might be some of them that are really simple and we blow right through them and there's others that maybe something will come up and it'll take a little longer um the other thing is that we will I would like to try out our little machinima break at some point. I don't know if we should do a halfway. Um, oh yeah, good thing. Yeah, there. Good thing all. Yeah, the pre-maids aren't as many. Yeah, there's not as look. There's only three in this academy later, which is nice. So that'll be good. And this is, of course, our. Um, Veronaville that's part of the the YouTube series so we're actually playing in our usual the, the usual Veronaville but we're just going to be playing the the pre-made college households so that should be interesting um it's this university that has all merit oh I gotta thank you very much for the follow cursive 
is it cursive? <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. Um, and also sorry to hear you have a weird stomach ache and headache. Yeah, to definitely get some rest and stuff. Oh wow, you spent 80, 90 bucks on, on art supplies. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this is the one that has the Almerick, Almerick and Aldrich. I don't know. I don't think we've got Mitch and Max, Sharp, Sharp, looks like Roxy Edwin, who is it? Dorky Brother, I don't know the names of the folks. Roxy, Jonah, and Edwin, and then O'Feef. I don't think I'm going to play through the ones that are in the bin. Um, so I don't know if the, the Davis ones are ones that are in the bin, unless I'm missing somebody in the town. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not, the thing is, is I'm not super familiar with like the university pre-maids. So I'll have to check it out. I don't know who we're going to start with either. Um, but I got to part, I got to the part in your Strange View series where you had, where some technical issues came up and you used the Seinfeld music. <laughs> Loved that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you saw Mulder. Yeah. I got them two in there. The problem with, with Mulder and um, Scully is that every time I change my hairs, I end up screwing up their hair. So, like, every time I see them, they don't look right. I recently made sure to teleport them to a lot where I could change their hairs and fix them properly. So when they appear, they'll actually be there <laughs> properly. Uh, yes, it is cursive because I'm pretentious. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it's so nice to see you live. I love your YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad and, and glad you were able to catch a live. It should be pretty chill. I don't know. We'll see how... I don't know how chaotic things will be. <laughs> I'm not really sure. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I guess I should just jump in here. Oh, yeah. Also, we need to decide at some point... Where's my... Up over. There we go. We'll have to decide at some point um, when we want to do the machinima... Thing. Let me turn on the actual game sound here. There we go. It should be be working okay. I don't know if I'll have to turn the sound up a little bit because uh, my my recording when I record I I set it up so that I'm able to adjust the the game audio in my editing software. So it might not be quite the same as what we need for streaming live. We'll see how the sound goes. Maybe have voices a little bit, a little bit louder. Hello, Cry Wild. <laughs> yes, <laughs> University full of Sims I cannot recall except for Caster. Yeah, and I think Caster's Caster's Sim State University. I would love to be able to play, um, rotationally play the La Fiesta Tech eventually because it's very like that's got like Stella. Whoever the heck, I can't remember their name. There's some cool ones there, but I've never really looked at these guys in the Academy Lator. But, yeah, Blossom Moonbeam sounds familiar. I don't know if I've played Blossom. Jane Stacks. I remember we played Jane Stacks in Strange View. I remember that one. Oh, she put me on the big screen. Oh, boy. That's kind of scary. Oh, Stella Toronto. That's what it was. Yeah. I would love to be able to spend some time with Stella at some point. I think maybe I could always add that hood to that university hood to Strange View eventually. Um, I think that would be cool. It would make sense since it's like the strange town hood. So. Oh, you got you an ad for the college. Oh, my goodness. Unfortunately, I think as an affiliate, I don't think I'm allowed to control when the ads come up, which sucks. I think partners are allowed to, like, see when an ad is coming and, like, either pause it or change it. But I don't know how to adjust ad settings on affiliate. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> Thank you for watching the ad, but sorry if it's annoying. Um, yeah, I've never really been in Veronaville, too. So we have to decide who do we want to play. We have these three households. Um... I don't know. Oh my goodness. LL Flamingo with a prime. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy your, your singular herb emote. There will be more eventually. <laughs> more options eventually. <laughs> yeah, you get your one little sad little herby emote. It's actually a very evil little herby emote. 
but I hope to have more eventually. Um, so do we want to play? We have these these guys, Mitch and Max. I don't know if I should just like start here and make our way across. We have the Sharp. We have these three. All have the same last. Oh no, one has a different last name. I think it's like a brother, sister, and then a friend. And we have Ofif, who is just Delilah on their own. Yeah, I do like the little Herbie. <laughs> I do like how little Herbie turned out. Okay, are the Sharps unique? Are they a good... They, they seem like more Sims seems like it would be more interesting to start out with. So maybe it would be fun to start out with them and see how they're going. I find that the only thing I, I will say is these households that are not technically the dorms sometimes can be a little less interesting because you don't have the fun dorm to with all the other stuff going on in the dorm. But um, I, I feel like maybe starting out with these guys could be fun. The other thing I know, I know people oftentimes pair this sim. Who, I don't know her first name, Marla. Marla Biggs. I've seen her uh, like paired with this chickie over here. I don't know if it would be worth moving her in with her or something. Or eventually maybe working towards having her join them. But yeah. Uh, the Sharp Household. Oh, thank you for the follow also. I, I don't, I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. But it starts with a T. Thank you very much, T. <laughs> T-E-R. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. Um, the Sharp Household is cool, even though... Um, oh, they have like a weather issue, so we might have to a adjust the weather issue. Are you just playing some Veronaville today? Yeah, I don't know if we'll have some... We might run into some Veronaville classics during our adventure here, or maybe we'll just run into a bunch of university losers. <laughs> Who knows? But, um... Oh, and I see Del Sim says, I vote for the tiny house with the one Sim. Yeah, the old thief. I think, because we're going to probably... Like I said, we'll probably be able to play at least two of them. And I assume this chick will t go by fast. It's possible if we started with Sharp. I'm sure we'll be able to finish them while we're we're playing today. And then we could maybe jump to th this one. And that will probably definitely finish her up. Oh, the, the alt doesn't have Greek houses. Huh. Yeah. I notice... It's weird how that do they do it doesn't. I don't know why... Also, I'm realizing ALT, duh, Academy Lator. Yeah, <laughs> my brain's going, what's alt? <laughs> yeah, ALT. Yeah, I don't, it, I thought that was weird. I was confused at first that why they don't have it. I wonder, is it supposed to be like, because Veronaville obviously is like supposed to be vaguely like European. Are, are sororities a thing in Europe? Are they a th a Greek houses? I mean, I know the Greek houses is a very American thing. Is that at all a, a reason they wouldn't have them? In this hood, I don't know. Just a thought. Um, we've been on a big Sims 4 kick. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, watching videos. Oh, it makes you want to play two and three. Um, yeah, that, I I was kind of goofing around with the Sims 4 the other night. I don't know if I'd ever played on stream. I was thinking about it. I I bought way back in like August. I bought that werewolf pack. I have never played it at all. And somebody was talking to me about how. Um, I'm going to load into the Sharp family here while I'm running my mouth. Oh, I should have read their intro. Crap. We can read their bios anyway. Um, but I was talking, at some point somebody was talking about how they, they always make, um, hello Tea Addict, welcome in, that's a very good name. <laughs> tea Addict. But, um, they always do, like, uh, oh god. What is it? Laszlo Curious. They always make him into a werewolf and how it would be fun to try to do that in The Sims 4 and stuff and I made the curious ho household the other day because of the new because of the new uh like baby update I was able to make Tycho curious as a little baby and of course I have a little mate like a recreation of the curious house I don't know maybe someday if I don't have anything else to play we could goof around in in Sims 4 I don't I've always kind of it's like I've always wanted to find a way to play it. It's, I feel like I'd have to approach it differently than I do the other games. I mean, each game kind of has its own approach anyway. And welcome in, T. Welcome. Hello, hello. First time chatter. <laughs> welcome in. 
it's always it, it, if you're unaware it highlights to me who has had a first time chat in the in the thing it's always interesting to how it how it pops it up i like that it does that it's kind of neat yeah it's very weird trying to get trying to get find a way to make the sims 4 work oh you download them off the gallery Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I had a fun time trying to make them. I decided when I made them in The Sims 4, I decided, uh-oh. <laughs> we got a we got a man with no shins. <laughs> He's floating. I think we're gonna have to fix that. I don't I don't understand what this issue is, because I've gone through and tried to fix it and it won't I got I gotta I guess I gotta go digging again. <laughs> Cause I have some kind of default. <laughs> this man's got no legs. He ain't got no legs. You ain't got no legs. What's what's the what's the quote from Forrest Gump. You ain't got no legs, Sergeant, whatever. <laughs> ain't got no legs. But you ain't got no legs. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan says, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. So. Also, as we're going, let me know how the sound is. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. I love that movie. <laughs> Oh, he's got the kind cut. That's true. He does have Mr. Vidkin cut. He's a Vidkin wannabe. Vid a Vidkin fanboy, perhaps. So, I guess I'll start down the list here. The other thing is, of course, I have the uh, Sims 3 traits mod. Of course, we have to give them the traits. And I don't know if I even want to bother. These guys are going to be filed into the county bin. And I don't know if I should bother giving them the traits or not, or if if they were to ever join a household down the line, I would just give them traits then. I don't know. It depends on how we, if we feel like assigning traits or not. I'd probably do a lot of randomized traits, but yeah. So for now, but for now, I think I'll just, we're going to check out their, their bio and everything and make sure they're, I might have to use my college fixing mod to make sure that they're in line with their proper, with, with the mod that I have that makes them a quicker Quicker time. Whatever it is. <laughs> I can't speak. Quicker thing. I think we should give them traits, yeah. Uh, FY Sims mod made a mod that auto-applies the traits. Interesting. Yeah, I was thinking about, like, either just using the randomizer only, or, like, kind of looking at their personality and their bio, and just anything that sticks out that they definitely should have, and then fill in the rest of the blanks with traits. Ra random traits. Oh, you give everyone traits? Oh yeah, that's true. And Klepto Sims running wild, that's very true. I think it would be fun maybe to do random ones. Remember when I was younger, I vibed so much with Roxy B. Oh, because she had a Avril Lavigne vibes. Yeah, I, I get that, definitely. <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, let me, let me, so we got Edwin here. Edwin hates living with his sister and her boyfriend, but can't find anyone else to move in with Life would probably be better back in the dorms. Okay. So Edwin, I'm guessing, yeah, Roxy, they both have the last name. So Roxy is Edwin's sister. And he's stuck living here. Although, I mean, look at his room. He's got a pretty cool pad. He's got a, he's got a computer. He's got a um, little game system, his own private TV with his nice little, little cushion. Like, you would not have this at the dorms, buddy. I can guarantee you that. You got your own private bathroom. You would also have not have that at the dorms. And these two got their their single beds. Interesting. I like the little I like this this chair situation. I'm enjoying this. This is a little bit plain in here. This is a little bit blah. I'm kind of in the ooh. Oh, this is kind of neat. It's like a little little upstairs party room. We've got some unpainted walls. It's like they're in the attic though. Huh. Okay. I I appreciate that. That's kind of fun. Kind of different. Yeah, the two single bed, very 1950s, like we can't show the people the t on TV being in the same bed kind of thing. Oh, does he have, t oh, he does have two massive windows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yikes. And then, so, okay, so Jonah is the boyfriend. Looks like a cool guy. Everyone seems to want to be with Jonah, the bad boy on campus. But his main concern is getting his girlfriend's annoying brother out of the house as soon as possible. Okay, so nobody likes Edwin so far. 
I kind of feel bad for Edwin. And then we have Roxy. Roxy is doing fairly well at school and is highly tolerant of her brother Edwin, or so she says. She likes to shop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what a weird little, like, what did, what did she likes to shop add to our, to our understanding of this Sim's personality exactly? <laughs> like, that's such a random little, little thing to add in there. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Hello, Comey. Welcome in and thank you. <laughs> I, I like this, 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 uh, shirt. It's very comfy. Uh, yeah, the green bath is kind of a fun choice. It's almost like more of a teal green. Or, I mean, like a foresty green or something. It's an interesting choice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's an exhibitionist, not the exhibitionist. Well, I'm going to hit play. Um, I am kind of glad that I went back, take took a break from the clay hairs to do some True Max's hairs. I'm sure I'll, I'll definitely go back to the clay hairs eventually, but I like being able to get to know these pre-maids in like their original form with their original hair, kind of. I don't know, it's just kind of fun. Um, however, we do need to, let me see, why don't I just buy him some different pants? I, I'll get him something that's kind of just like what he had. I don't know why these pants are doing this. I think... Maybe I, I don't know, I'm missing a texture or something. Or like, are they like repo to something I don't have? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess the bathtub wouldn't show like stains too well if it's that weird dark green. <laughs> Maybe that's good for like a college household. Maybe. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go all the way to the end if my game doesn't explode. Go all the way. Should he get some shorty shorts? Oh, here we go. So, I don't know. Which ones does he have already? Huh. I don't see them here. We just give him, like, I don't know. It looks like he could be, like, a, a little sandals dude. Or maybe, would he be, should he have the Goopy Gills Carbo Crocs and Socks moment? He does, <laughs> Edwin deserves a mermaid tail. <laughs> I'm gonna add the Crocs and Socks in there. We also have the boots. I like the little little combat boot moment. Hello there, comrade opossum. That's a great name. Well, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I like the I like that name. Howdy, Sam. I've been your viewer of videos for ages. Oh, nice. Welcome in. I'm glad that you were able to stop in by. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think maybe we'll do the socks, the socks and Crocs. What is this one? Is that just sneakers? Those are like ugly sneakers. I got like a mod that's like a default that just like changes all the shoes on these, which is fun. We'll do that. Clothing cannot be worn until you purchase both a top and a bottom. Yes, we already own a top. He's got a couple options here. There we go. Look at that. That's great. That's fantastic. Oop, I really like that. I like Edwin. Edwin's my favorite so far. <laughs> Everybody's hating on Edwin. He's like, maybe Edwin's going to grow up to be the cool... Edwin's like one of those nerds that everybody hates on. And then he like grows up to be like some amazing inventor. What was that little sad face? He's going to, like, invent the next, like, Apple computer and become a bajillionaire, and everybody's going to wish they liked Edwin back in the day. <laughs> what kind of croc charms? That's a good idea. What kind of croc charms? I don't know. I don't really know. What are, like, Edwin's interests? He likes politics a lot. What do we, th what do we think his politics are at? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he likes school and work. Would he, would he just have, like, nerdy Star Wars stuff or something? Justice for Edwin's. I like his lips. I like Edwin's lips. They're nice lips. Um, I'm gonna lock in Dean's list. Also, I didn't look at... He's a mathematics major. I like that. That seems to fit him. So maybe he's got some, like... Maybe he'd have, like, nerdy, like, pie symbols to, like, with the... The little, like, it's a picture of a pie with the, like, pie numbers in it as, as a crock charm. I feel like I could see that. <laughs> Yeah, he does look like Vidkind a little bit. He does. <laughs> I like the Crocs. It gives him a little extra zest. Edwin's a comrade. <laughs> he probably. <laughs> um, so, I also need to... Let's drop down... Can't remember which one it does. Is it, is it Cy John's Pizza Box? This one might help... Yeah, University Fixed Student. I need to make sure that my... Yeah, there we go. I have to make sure the mod is applied to everybody, the time, shorter college time. 
fixed unit. There we go. Everybody's on everybody's on time there. Um and then so yeah, so I guess traits. We can do traits. Yeah, I like my little I like his little goofy socks and crugs. Oh look at him, look at him playing the drums. Does he have a hobby he's known for? Also, he wants to be best friends with Delilah. That's fun. Should I lock I don't know if I should lock in Dean's list or Delilah. Maybe Delilah seems cool. Oh, he's wait, he's in a relationship with Delilah. I didn't realize that. They're in love. Um, so this the fixed student Oh, I already deleted it. The it's a part of like a bigger mod, but the fixed student makes it so that my I have the I have the mod that makes the college semesters way shorter. I don't I think I have the 36 hour. I'm pretty sure it's 36 hour college mod and it makes it so that they definitely are adjusted to that like they're I think usually like when you start a new college student, sometimes they have to like finish one semester before the the mod kicks in, but this mod makes it so that you don't have to do that. It, it sets them right up and they're ready to go. I think that's kind of what it's supposed to do if that if i describe that well i feel like i'm not articulating too super well tonight <laughs> but I'm trying um he does actually have unique glasses he might have i don't think i don't know if i have a mod that unlocks those glasses so yeah so maybe those are those a yeah the the, the um are they a red i'm gonna pause for a second or are they like a tortoise they're almost like a like a what do they call it like a tort Glasses, that's kind of cool. I don't think I, I might have a mod that unlocks them, but I, I don't think so. I don't think he'd have them anyway, unless he already did. Um, this lady has decided to show up. We've got lots of things going on. Yes, I like my 36 hour mod, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, the 24 hour can be good too if you're looking to blast through it. Sometimes when I'm playing on my own, I slow it down to the seven. Is it 72 hour? I think is the next one or 48. No, maybe it goes 48 and then there's like a 72. I don't remember what mine is exactly. My, mine might be 48. I don't remember. I've had it for so long. Yes, it basically sinks the hour. That's a good that's a good word. Sink. Sink is the is the word. <laughs> yeah, I like the Sims 3 University. I like that a lot. Um, I feel like I really, I really enjoy like being able to be like immersed on campus in The Sims Three, and being able like I have a lot of fond memories of like the, the Sims that are like into the science major, where they, um, where they like can go work on that machine that's like in the center of the university, and it's just like I don't know. I just have really good fond memories of like playing one of my legacy kids there and like being really invested in their little college life. I really enjoy that. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much for the prime Ad Admir Antin. Admirantin. I know I, I know I've said your name before or attempted to, but <laughs> thank you very much for the prime. I hope you enjoy your singular herb emote soon to be more, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I like the the active classes in Sims 3. Yes, I need a Herb Jam emote. I really needed one. Oh, you come around to the, the Sims 4. I'm at a point where I'm like, I'd like to find a way to play it a little bit. Just because I own it. And it's like, I might as well try. Okay, I keep getting distracted. From, I keep distracting myself, I should say. I'm not, I'm, I need to multitask here. We're going to turn on move objects, so it just lets me plop this guy here. This is the cr this creepy mask is the mod that allows me to randomize traits. <laughs> so, oh, that's right. They got the, the porta chug in there. We're gonna, do, do you think we should, do we actually choose anything specific for any of these Sims or should I just fully randomize it? Should I just like full send randomize. And then if anything doesn't make sense, we can delete it and, and add if we want to. I think it'd be fun to just, you think Edwin's should be chosen? Yeah. My, my other thought was like, sometimes what I do is, I look at their personality or their their interests and stuff and if anything really strong is going on i do a trait for for that and then the other few because i usually give them isn't it it's five traits in the sims 3 adults have i'm pretty sure um uh roxy and jonah can get what they can yeah maybe maybe edwin is our, our favorite so far so we could <laughs> 
Uh, can you specifically choose in uni? You mean choose traits? Um, because I think it's available for anybody in in uni, anybody that you're playing actively. I mean, yeah, Edwin's the, become the main character. I think I'm gonna look at. Let's see, because he's. He's not like extremely neat as to where I definitely would want to give him the neat trait. Edwin hates living with his sister and her boyfriend. He doesn't really say like he's a nerd or he's, I mean, he's obviously set up to be like nerdy. Um, he likes politics. Work and school. Maybe he could be like a workaholic. Like what are, I have to remind myself of the traits. I have them in the collections here. Oh, he has the default cancer personality. Let's we'll go outside. I like to just like line him up outside for ones that I want to do. You can like do this. There's so many. It's kind of overwhelming. Oh yeah, I don't know what his lifetime wish is. Become media magnate level 10. Huh. Does that line up with his cuz he's a mathematics major. We could always change it. Yeah, mathematics isn't one of those. Like gamer, architect, natural scientist, which isn't natural scientist is what I usually give Vidkind. Maybe this guy's like the, the Vidkind of, of Veronaville. We have scientist and criminal. I could always change his lifetime. Oh, that's true. Super, supernatural lover would be fun. He's into sci fi. Oh, paranormal. There we go. Yeah, we could do a sci fi. Does he go into class? He is. That means we might have to wait to do to actually let him choose if we do any random traits um i'm gonna get out the handy dandy where is it right here this is the lifetime wish chooser oh is mad scientist would be a good one do you have a, um i do have a mod that also adds more of the lifetime wishes that one that adds a whole bunch of different ones so i do have that so we could we could choose one for him he is go off to college i mean well yeah off to class right now so we might have to wait. I can put things manually into his inventory, but I can't have him like choose this or randomize while he's gone. Um, let me see. So we did supernatural fan. We could do that. Do you just have like something generic like genius? What else is there? I gotta remember. I feel like I forget half of them. The other thing I'm running into is I find that, like, I'm giving a lot of the Sims the same traits because of how they easily connect with the existing Sims 2 personality. Like, I've been giving Sims the neat trait, and I feel like I have too many Sims with the neat trait now because of the neat personality thing. You know, it's like, I need to find a way to choose different ones more, which is why I've been using the randomizer a little bit more. Yes, I did have the, I do have a, over here, I downloaded an aromantic mod. Um, so you can give it to Sims. Uh, aromantic Sims don't experience any kind of romantic attraction. They don't feel an urge to get crushes, fall in love, or even go on dates. So yeah, if you have an aromantic Sim. Yeah. I was thinking about, or it says aromantic, right? Yeah. Um, I was thinking about giving that to Vidkind. Because that's a common thing for Vidkind to be. It, people say he's a romantic. I think that would be fun. But heavy sleeper, that could be fun. That could be like a different. This, this is that's light sleeper. Or, oh, right there, the Z's. I don't know if I should do something with, like, um. Yeah, I think I I'd like to I like to have more diversity in my sims and stuff like we were talking about last time i wish there was like a mod or a way to be able to randomly have like transgender sims created rather similar to like the gender preferences randomized have like um you know like gender identity randomization i think that'd be fun yeah everybody plays vidkin you know all the sims differently however they want to um let me just like skim over his stuff again what would like he's really high into politics like what would that be like i don't know what kind of personality that would be like schmoozer yeah schmoozer charismatic hmm 
Is there anything? I like I like the idea of schmoozer. I don't know if he. Yeah. Disciplined. I do like the idea of like schmoozer. He could. Neurotic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that could be. I've never. I don't know if I've given a sim neurotic before. I think that could be a fun little wild card for him. Ambitious. That's true. We'll try. We'll do neurotic. This is quite a. This is a fun lineup. We need just one more. I usually give the adults five. We just need one more. What would be a, another one. Dog lover. He seems like a dog person. Does he have a strong animal interest at all? That we could, oh, he has zero interest in animals. Maybe he isn't a dog lover. <laughs> Maybe he isn't. <laughs> I don't know. He has, uh, we have, oh, that's right, school and work. Maybe ambitious would be good because of he's pretty high in school and work interest. Never knew it could be good too. Oh, Jonah's got to go to class. Um, what was I thinking? There's also workaholic. Yeah, maybe just ambitious is a good general cover for both school and work. He's got, he has this want, which I didn't, I guess I will just lock this in because I didn't realize he's actually in a relationship with Delilah. So I don't think we really need to worry too much about BFF as like a reason to go see her because they're already like together. Although he only has one bolt of attraction towards her, which is kind of fun. Anyway, who are you? Hello, sir. Murray. That's Murray. Murray stopped by for some reason. Okay, we'll put these... I don't know, y'all ever like actually use the renew you chug? I don't really ever use it. I just delete it. Hi, Chuby. Chuby. I almost said Chubu. <laughs> Chuby. I'll do that. I don't know if I'll just leave it in his inventory. Yeah, I used it like once. I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of times I like to just let him have whatever interest, like blonde and blonde hair. I don't know, that's fine, because I don't really care what he's into. I think I'm just going to delete it, because I like to keep the inventory clean for the traits. Have them nicely organized. Um, do you think the, um, the traits mod makes a difference? I don't know. I haven't... I, th I feel like I've seen a little bit here and there. I feel like it's very minor so far, but I haven't played with it a ton I feel like certain ones are probably more definite than others. Like, I haven't really had a chance to play a klepto sim. Um, I do have, when we get to, in Strange View, when we get to playing Dustin, he's going to be a klepto. And I think I made Skip a klepto also. Also, I, I keep forgetting, I changed, I shouldn't, klepto is like not nice to say, so I shouldn't say it. I, I've learned that. And I did, I downloaded a mod that changes the names of them, and they changed the name to Swiper. Like, swiper no swiping <laughs> makes me think of the fox. But, um, so, it, like, that kind of trait, I imagine, will I'll see more of a definite thing. But, yeah, like, the hopeless romantic, I think, is one of the definite ones that I've seen the most change for. Um, because, um, who is it? I think I gave Brandy hopeless romantic, and I think, honestly, that's what stopped her from, um, bothering like with skip at all <laughs> honestly i think that's part of what helped her not mess with skip um yeah so i don't know i feel like i haven't played with them enough to uh to really know too much and i feel like there's times where like the the little interactions are so minor or the preferences are so minor that you never know either way yeah i think it's just kind of fun even just for your own like kind of imagination of their little stories and stuff kind of it helps like expand the sims sort of how you see them or how you explain them to yourself almost if that makes sense kind of nice oh albany in my game got the never nude trait he bathed in his swimwear so that's fun <laughs> that's funny yeah i do like the ones that change a lot like i'm curious now he has heavy sleeper like i wonder what that would actually do in the game would he sleep through a burglar would he be really hard to wake up you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Um, so do we, do we want to even, we have Joan, Jonah's away. What is Jonah's, Jonah is a romance sim. What was his? I didn't even pay attention. He's a knowledge sim. Okay. And then, so we have Jonah. Become celebrity chef level 10. 
Okay, he's a philosophy major. I don't think that lines up quite well. I might, um, probably gonna change all their lifetime wishes. We have, she's a, uh, a romance sim, a psychology major. Why can't I see her thing? We could probably change her lifetime wa want. What is hers? A uh, woohoo with 20 different sims. I mean, that's pretty in line with a romance sim. Hello, meebles. Welcome in. <laughs> Little know me hello. Know me hello. Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's true. TVs and radios. We'll have to test that out. Maybe we'll have his sister like turn on the TV and sit here while he's sleeping and see if it see if it works. Welcome in. I like that little emote. That's a cute little. Oh, it's a little cookie. Oh my gosh, the cookie with a flower. Oh, we have some folks coming back. Are they back? Are they getting along? Oh, okay. They seem to be. They seem to be somewhat getting along. Okay, this guy. Oh. Where are we? What are we running for? Oh, she had to run to class. Okay. And he's doing pretty good. Does he have Dean's? Oh, he wants Dean's list. So we gotta have to try and get his his um, skills up a bit. Uh, I'm going to choose from personality available. Okay, he's got a lot of options here. Uh, city planner, cult leader, head of C SCIA, hospital chief of staff, mad scientist. We mentioned mad scientist. The media magnates what he's already got, which I don't really see that for him. World-class ballet dancer. <laughs> Car mechanic. Embodied supernatural combo. What does that mean? I don't even know what that is. That's one of my custom ones. Any shenanigans? We're currently kind of goofing around with giving traits and establishing like their lifetime wishes and stuff. So that's kind of the only shenanigans we've gotten into so far is trying to come up with these Sims like personalities and stuff and just kind of get to know them, I guess. So far, Edwin is the favorite. He's kind of like a little, little Walmart knockoff vidkin. We appreciate him. <laughs> yeah, have multiple occult statuses. That seems really fun and like right up the alley of a knowledge sim. Powerful potion brewer. P powerful spellcaster. Maximize skills. Maxima max talent badges. Master of robotics. That could be fun. He could be, he could be into robotics. I was just saying in, I think it was in the Discord. I was just talking about like, how I haven't played like the sim bots enough. That could be fun. I mean, like I said, these sims technically are going to be going to the townie pool, but Veronaville is so little that I would be open to, you know, having some favorites join the rounds <laughs> to have a little bit of extra, a little bit of zest in town. So if, if, if we really fall in love with this boy, maybe he will, he will become like a playable, a, you know, a regular towns person. I don't know. I like the robotics idea, but I also like the supernatural idea. Walmart Vidkin. <laughs> he is Walmart Vidkin. He's a wannabe. He, nobody can be the true, real Vidkin. I recently have changed my hair defaults to E-axis style, but I use the default dump from the Remy. Um, so I use, I, I was experimenting with using the Simgaru pairs. I don't really like those as much. And I ended up changing to the, um, I used, I'm pretty sure it's Dread Pirates. They have the, the NHS, the new hair system recolors with a few like, um, mesh edits and stuff. And I've really liked that. So I, I, you've been using that one. And I think they've pretty much got the whole, the entirety of a lot of the, the Max's hair is covered, any ones that need to be covered. Um, and then I use a bunch of like hat hiders and stuff for some of the extra hats. But yeah, I've been, I've been, that's one of the things I did recently was I tried to go through and just cut down all of my custom like Max's match hairs and my regular hairs to just be the new hair system, color system, because I, I like that a lot better. Um, Dread Pirate, I can type it out. That's their spelling of their name. I don't know. Actually, they, they have a few different names, too, I think. But I'm pretty sure it's under Dread Pirate, because they also have the... It's like... Let me type it out, because I'm not sure. They also have a Tumblr. I think it's under that name, too. If I'm not mistaken. I think it's the same person. Yeah, shout, shout out. Yeah, they, they have some really cool stuff. 
so but i'm pretty sure they have a tumbler a couple of tumblers so yeah um but anyway i saw some mention cult leader is fun cult leader would be fun yeah and when the cult leader <laughs> i think i think we've got a unanimous cult leader choice we can do that i don't is that even in line that's not even in line with mathematics but that's okay <laughs> Yeah, I have I have Dread Pirates lighting mod. Yeah, VVQB. F f yeah, and it's it's like hard because like some of their stuff still uses Dread Pirate as the name, and they have I've, I think they have two different tumblers and stuff. So they have one that's I think is is their active one, and one that's just like their downloads and stuff. But either way, either way, if you dig around, you'll find both. <laughs> Yeah, I like the my biggest thing with the recall. Oh my, what? It, what is? What is going on? <laughs> Man, you got him in the road. I thought she was like beating him up for a second in the road. He's forcing Edwin to work out. Um, and he's also his workout wear is a punk jacket. Okay, maybe we need to give him a makeover. Maybe we need to give him a little bit more. Let me do like. Um, I'm going to do a plan outfit everything and just go through and see if I can set some of his other outfits from what he's already got in his inventory or like his catalog. I'll leave his everyday. I like his everyday as is. Okay, that's fine. I like his little, I like his little chubby belly. <laughs> I like his little belly. Okay, we've got, I don't know, both of these are pretty much just as bad as the other. Oh, that's true. Is he working in punk clothes? Oh, that's interesting because he's neurotic. Yeah, I wonder, is that his outdoor wear? I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, that was his that was his formal wear. He just changed as I or no, maybe that wasn't. No, that wouldn't that wouldn't make sense. That didn't make sense. I don't know which I like these ones a little bit better because he's just changing because that's what I'm setting it as. OK, so this is his workout wear. So, yeah, so I think you were right. That was like his outer wear. I think that's fine. I don't really know what that is. Okay, and this is his outerwear. What the hell was he wearing? He just decided to put on... Look, he, he knows what he's doing. Look at him. Let's see. I'm going to change you back into your everyday bucko. Okay. I'm going to have him... He needs to, like, read or something. Do we not have a bookshelf in this house? Of course we don't have a bookshelf in this house. We don't have any light in here. This is this house is weird. There's not really like a living room in this house. Which is like the weird part. Oh, that's true. He uses math to induce induct people into his his cult. Dun dun dun. I like his I like his his vidkin hair. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm getting a. Let's see. I'm just gonna put down like a basic here. We'll we'll do the we'll do the like the junkie. This is I always, all I can think of. This makes reminds me of the the broke trailer. That's all. That I just think of these as like Dustin's bookcase. That's all I can think of it as. Can I just plop down like a little couch. I know we have one upstairs, but we need like one down here, and like a little lamp. Maybe. Oh, this one. <laughs> there we go. Got a light. Let there be light. I'm gonna have him do some cooking. Hey, there's a dude out here who's got the same haircut as us, and we're doing a little dance with him. Who's you? Stork. This man's name is Stork Hewling. <laughs> Stork. Yes, Rogue, those are some very good ones. Um, yeah, I was recently digging through all of theirs. I, fo I follow professional party guests quite closely on Tumblr. I was just downloading some of theirs today. But those are all some very good suggestions for the Max's hair. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else that I, I'm a big fan of the Y2 Sims hairs. Y2 Sims, I'm pretty sure is their name. They do only the new hair system recolors of a lot of people's hairs, which is nice too. See if I they miss. Yeah, the, sim, the 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 database is very useful. <laughs> dorm core, it is very dorm core. Yeah, our first cult. Maybe maybe um, we'll have to make Edwin a playable and have him start a cult. <laughs> he has kind of like an underbite, a little bit. Like he's got a little bit of a. I kind of appreciate the underbite he's got going on. Kind of a little bit of a smush. It's like a little bulldog. It's like a little bulldog face. 
<laughs> I should be working. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I do use it. A lot of times I'll use it as like a, a, a jumping board. I do that a lot where even like other people's tumblers and stuff that I know I've already downloaded the, their stuff, but I'll look at see what they've reblogged and then I'll go into that person's page and go digging even more <laughs> and just go go down the rabbit hole of custom content. And then I inev ined inevitably purge it when I decide I want to change. <laughs> I start all over again. But also you didn't do your skilling very much, bucko. Oh yeah, also these two... Do I want to... Do I care enough to change this guy's lifetime wish? Not really. I don't know. I think I think these two are just kind of the the townies, but... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna change it to at least be something in line, hopefully with his major. Become professional party guest. Hey, <laughs> we know that name. <laughs> We're just saying that. Here he'll be a professional party guest. Sure, why not? <laughs> Edwin and Stork. Oh my gosh. Well we've gotta apparently invite Delilah over. That's our girly friend. Is somebody making a meal here? Who is who oh that's our that's Jonah. Okay. I didn't recognize him in his workout wear. I like this workout where it's pretty nice. You better be making that for everybody and not just yourself. Watch him pull out a singular plate. I'm not going to be happy if he pulls out a single plate. We have food for everybody, sir. We hurry up here. Okay, good. You've got a group serving. Good boy. <laughs> okay, Roxy's back now. I guess I'm going to do random traits. Thank you very much for the follow, Rachel. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, I think if you make Edwin playable, you should be able to make his sister playable. Oh, that's true. Just so ages could stay in sync. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's a good question. Who is he swooning? He's swooning this random chick named Rochelle. Okay. Well, you got a girlfriend, Edwin. Maybe Roxy would be able to, like, I don't know. Because then I'd feel like, well, her boyfriend's Jonah. So, like, they'd have to be together somewhere unless she just, like, drops Jonah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I like the, I like the username, too. <laughs> I like any of the usernames that are, like, a random, like, sim thing. And they just use that as the name. I like that. I think that's fun. Jonah deserves nothing. <laughs> oh, hi, Daydreamer. Sorry, I, I missed you. Hello there. That's okay. You're, you're not super late. We've mostly just spent the first while here. Uh, wow, it's already been an hour. I didn't even realize it was already an hour. <laughs> we've we've just been establishing and kind of a, a not amounting to much because <laughs> we're just kind of uh, discussing Walmart Vidkin. And his traits. This is Edwin, and his second name is Walmart Vidkin. <laughs> um, anyway, I keep getting distracted. Let's do random traits to Edwin. To... Oh, wait, not Edwin. Oh, my God. Not Edwin. This is, this is Jonah. I just gave Edwin extra traits by accident. <laughs> Loves to swim? No. Clumsy? No. Not for you. I meant to do him. I'm going to delete this. Add trait, Jonah. 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 Or... There we go. Let him do that. Okay, now Jonah's got traits. What did you get, Jonah? Good. Loves the cold. Ambitious. Commitment issues. Honestly, that works for his, his romance sim thing. And heavy sleeper. Oh, you, got, you ran out of off-brand Nutella. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yes, Bargain Bid Vidkin. That's another good name. I kind of like doing the random traits sometimes because it's fun just to be like, okay, who is this sim now? Uh, Roxy. I like the name Roxy. I think that's super cute. Gonna go to town. Heavy sleeper after all that romance. And <laughs> Goodwill Vidkin. That's also good. Yeah, this is kind of a good little set. What did she get? Bookworm. Interesting. Loves to swim. Hot-headed. Vegetarian and unstable. So her brother is neurotic and she's unstable. 
hot-headed, seems in line with her little little angry punk chick. She loves to swim. That's her secret. She loves swimming, but she can't let the other goths know. There we go. So we've got some some interesting. <laughs> Sounds like you. Oh, interesting. She likes black hair and charismatic. Okay. So, I need you to try and get a skill point, buddy. Do that. I am still sticking with, like, the want-based gameplay, and he has the want for Dean's list, so I'm going to be trying to push him. This guy, is he, he doesn't even have any... He doesn't even... He isn't even afraid of failing. So he's like... He just wants to go on a date. We could possibly go on a date with Roxy at some point. She wants to go on a date, and she doesn't care about failing. It's possible that we're going to end up with a flunk out and it's just going to be Mr. Edwin. <laughs> I didn't pee myself and get dumped vid kid. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There we go. He got his. Oh, look at that. Look at this good little boy wanting to do his homework. Um, How would I have you do your cleaning skill points so we can get that out of the way? Hi, Rochelle. I'm glad you're here. I don't know why you're here, but, you, you know, you're welcome to stay, <laughs> I guess. Then do her homework on our floor. Also, also, can we talk about Edwin just chilling in his towel <laughs> with his little belly out? <laughs> I kind of like this. <laughs> I like his little look right now. UK version would be Poland vid Pound Land Vidkind. Home Bargains Vidkind. Pound Stretcher Vidkind. Gosh. <laughs> I, I know that Pound is like the name of like like our dollar or whatever, but it I don't know. In, a, in American Pound <laughs> is an inch is a is used in a lot of other ways <laughs> that it sounds weird. Pound stretcher. <laughs> yeah, they don't quite have the same ring to it. Pound land. <laughs> Pound land. Oh, God. Yeah, I love, love a dad bod. We got dad bod vidkind. B&M vidkind. I like, I like all these vidkind alternative names. He keeps, he keeps peeking at us. You see him looking at us? He keeps keep looking. She's doing her homework. What else do you, like, what do you want in life? I don't really know what you want. Hey, he's looking right at us. Fan fiction Vidkind, oh no. Oh, she's looking, she's reading, oh, is that because she's a bookworm that she's reading on the newspaper? I mean, on the toilet? I feel like I n almost never see Sims do that. Not Wattpad Vidkind, oh no. <laughs> Oh, look at she's reading with us. She's studying. Maybe we could join her study session after we get our... Oh, we got our skill point. Look at that. Wait, can we join? Oh, is she not doing studying? Research? Can we... College research? Okay, he had to put the Crocs back on for research. <laughs> he, had to, he had to put his, his Crocs and socks back on for research purposes. I can get her to join. Ask to join. Oh, I didn't know this guy was even still here. Stork was hanging around. I didn't even realize that. We had the opportunity to play with Stork, and we, we missed it. I also did not check or, or roll gender preferences. Should we, like, randomize everybody's gender preferences or just go with what's already going on? Like I said, he's already got a girlfriend here. Maybe, maybe he could... We just keep what's going on. Should we randomize? Yeah, we could do... I'll have to spawn... Oop, I, oh, change topic? Interesting. Huh. All right, adjust romance. Spawn adjuster. We probably keep... We're supposed to keep it on the lot to help with certain effects, I guess. I learned that recently by rereading, like, the instructions. Apparently I was doing that wrong because I used to always delete it. But... Okay. Uh, gender preference. Um, Edwin. Oh, he's already set to buy. That's kind of fun. Should we still randomize him? <laughs> or should we let him be buy? Because <laughs> that's kind of fun. He's a bisexual king. We could we could randomize the other two. I can we could still randomize him. He's a bi con. Oh, the orchid. Yeah, I've been when I've been going around doing like little makeovers of Sims and stuff. I always make sure to like, I've been getting in the habit of like 
dec using all of the mod objects as like little decorative objects and making sure to have them like on a little shelf or something and like changing the ACR thing to like the orchid or the bonsai tree or something. Thank you very much for the follow. Nina is annoyed. <laughs> it's a good name. <laughs> Thank you for a follow. But I kind of want to leave him as bi. What are, what do we got going on here? What's your deal? Oh wait, I don't I didn't need to select him. Okay, make straight. Roxy makes straight. So they're just a couple of straighties. Yes, I'm glad you were able to to uh, catch a stream. Oh, we have a we have a hydrate from Christy for everyone. If you have any you need to to take a sip of something, we got we can hydrate. <laughs> Needed a hydrate. Been really thirsty today. Oh, was oh oh no! What did I just hit? I think I just hit something. Oh, I hit make buy. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. <laughs> we had a that's her randomization. I guess we won't randomize because I like him being a little buy icon. He's just already set up to be a little buy icon. That's fun. I no longer decorate with them. I just stuff them under the house. Oh, that's another good way to do it. I, um, the main ones that I always keep are the one that allows me to change the season because I always accidentally screw up what season we're in when I have to start the round. And it just looks like a little vase, so I'm able to just kind of set it somewhere. And then my Sim Blender, which I usually always put down. Excuse me. I think that water gave me a little bit of a hiccup. <laughs> um... Reminds me, I haven't put down, this is the Sim Blender, right? Yeah. I usually always have the Sim Blender around because that's like the most useful tool. I feel like Sim Blender is like the number one mod. Oh, we have some, some interest in games. Anyway, this guy, he's just reading because he wants to, but I'm going to have him term paper or assignment. I guess I'm going to have him do his term paper. I bet that'll be more of a boost. More of a boost to his to his grade. That's true, we could give the couple a double bed. Can we fit a little double bed in here? We might have to make her move and like put it here. Roxy, can you uh, leave? I'm gonna have to have you vacate the premises, Roxy. Oh, there was a lag. Oh, we just, we just changed over to fall. Fall is very good. Edwin decided to not do the thing I asked him to do. He's gonna go to sleep in Roxy's bed. No, you're gonna sleep in this bed, buddy, old pal. Thank you, please and thank you. I'm gonna put your put this over here for just for now. Of course, the light went out as soon as I'm trying to work in here. Um. <laughs> yes, the the herb double bed. That's actually kind of a a great emote to use with it. At the same time, it's also terrifying. I guess we should just get like a cheap one. This one I always think looks like the basic one, but even though technically it's not the cheapest one. I might get this one in like black. We'll do like this. Oops. That. Yeah, the herb. The, the I almost said the herbal Eve emote. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the, the evil herb emote. Herb. I'm not saying words. <laughs> Can I turn on the light in here? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's good if you're starting to feel a little bit better, Christy. Okay, we're going to bed at 6 a.m. That's good. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, Sony. So Sonia. Sonia Gibbard. That's what it is. I don't know why. It Sometimes the way it displays them is all smashed together without any capitals. So it's like the words get smashed. Herbal Eve. <laughs> Sounds like a type of, of sparkling water. That's true. Yeah, we have the, the couple immediately hopping in bed here. I think because of something I had to do. Okay, well, I, I you know, I said that this, this darker color would hide the dirt. I don't think that was true. <laughs> it's pretty nasty looking. It's pretty nasty looking. Um, I forgot what I was going to say what I was saying. Oh, I gotta stretch my leg out. I'm sitting cross-legged. <laughs> I guess I gotta stretch my leg out. That's true. Herbal. Herb. Oh my gosh, I can't say Herb's name today. 
Or, oh, there you go. Everybody stretch. <laughs> stretch my leg. I'm stretched to the side. Ugh. I'm sitting at a... If you're unaware, I'm sitting at an L-shaped desk. <laughs> so I'm like trying to, to go to the side. Stretching. Stretching my legs. Stretch my legs. There we go. I'm just stretch. Yeah, this is a very dirty tub. It's almost as dirty as Herb. It's almost as dirty as Herb. Also, yeah, you didn't do your thingy? How many hours till exams? 26? Interesting. Yeah, these guys still don't have any... This one wants to talk to his professor. Oh, he does want a skill point. But he... Oh, he wants mechanical and logic, which he doesn't really need. Yeah, I guess we'll save. Uh-oh, your arm popped. Yeah. I don't know. But nothing that he... He doesn't really want a skill that's any of the skills he needs right now. We even have the ability to do a logic skill point. Oh, we have a grill. I didn't notice we have a grill. This lot doesn't have, like, a lot of logical thingies. Maybe I should put down... Should I put down a telescope? I'm sure this guy would like a telescope, being he's a knowledge sim. And that can be, like, a logical thing to do. We do have a little bit of money to play with. Not a lot of money, but we have a little bit. Just plop this... Oh my gosh. You just shook the whole room. How did you do that? Olive got up and shook, and my, my whole desk shook. <laughs> How did that happen? Anyway, we got a, we got a telescope. Yeah, there's an olive shake. He like sh stood up on the bed and shook, and it like sent a shockwave across the room. Um, I think I have some of the mods that let you do. Actually, let's wait. Let's see if he plays a video game. I have a mod that makes like random things give you skills like that. Like I have one. I know that lately when my sim has played darts, they get a skill. They do some other stuff. Let's see if, if it gives him logic. Yeah, there's a skill point that pops up. I think that you might be right with that. I forgot about that. Should pay attention to that, because that's another good way to do this with the college kids. He doesn't want to go on a date. I wonder if we would be able to go on like a little double date where we take Jonah and Roxy and then Edwin invites his little girlfriend Del Delilah over and say words. Um... Because we haven't even seen her yet. She looks like a really cool kid. I would love to, to meet Miss Delilah. I think that would be neat. We're doing this. Also, are they all... Oh, I just realized he's a sophomore. Is she is. Oh, she's also a sophomore. I didn't realize that. So Edwin's freshman. The two of them are sophomore. That's good to know. Who's this? You dinging our bell, sir? Who are you? Oh, Mitch Indy. He's one of the other ones. Playables. Where is his house? He was, like, near us. Oh, do I not have... Oh, he lives right here in this house. Um, you want to... you want to wake up? Maybe meet him? Oh, is the heavy... Oh, that's right. Yes, you're right. The heavy sleeper is working. That must be exactly what it is. Yeah. Heavy sleeper, definitely. That's actually kind of a useful trait. In this situation, especially. Mitch and Edwin look... Oh my gosh, you're red, Edwin. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to eat. Well, I want you to, to greet Mitch. I like the name Mitch. Look at that nod. That was a manly nod. Manly men nodding at each other because they're not gay. Making sure to be sure <laughs> that they... No homo, we must just nod at each other. I wish the Sims and the Sims 2 got charisma points. That's true. In the, I think in the Sims 3, they also get charisma points. I'm talking to each other. Like, it makes sense. I feel like I might have a mod that does that. Oh my gosh, look at this girlie's fancy outfit. That's Marie Antoinette. The the, the famous. <laughs> look at that shiny dress. That's so shiny. You're very shiny, Marie. Okay. Yeah, is he gaining... Oh, look at Mitch joined us. I wish our, our like... I wish he would also gain skill point. That'd be kind of nice. <laughs> Two guys nodded at each other. Five-peer cart because they're not gay. 
phone is buzzing. <laughs> yeah, if, if I, yeah, I'll have to see if, I can't remember. I'll have to pay attention if we chat. Okay. Yeah, he just got a skill point. Um, he's very tired, though. Maybe we'll have him take a break and sleep. Also, I just realized Girly over here is still sleeping. Yeah, he so he did get a logic point from playing. Um, he wants to be friends with professors now, which might be the only thing that saves his ass. Although he didn't, I mean, he think he I think he's passing. Is Roxy available to talk? He's sleeping. I guess I'll say no. Uh, there's a mod by Pick Mix, Pick and Mix. Yeah, sure, you can post it in the Discord. There is a section for CC and mods, and I I don't know if. Over. I'll, I'll share it again in case anybody here is interested. We have a new Discord set up. So we have that going on. But yeah, there, there should be. You can post it right in the, the CC Mods channel. Oh, look at you being a good boy uh, cleaning things up. Buddy old pal. Is the, is the audio loud enough? Can you guys actually hear the game? Playing all right? It seems like it's kind of quiet. I wasn't paying attention. I want it to be like so quiet that you can't even hear what's going on because half of the fun of it is like the sound okay you can't hear it at all okay let me literally turn it right up because i don't want it to just be awkward silence while i talk also <laughs> maybe that's i bet it pretty loud now we'll go like just slightly lower than my voice You can try that. Half the, half the, yeah, you heard a snore. There's a snore happening. I can also, of course, tweak in here. I can, like, tweak things just a little bit. Like I said, the settings that I have in in-game are usually what I have for recording, which is kind of different because I'm able to tweak the audio levels after the fact in my recording so software. So I don't usually pay attention to it being loud enough while I'm recording because I can just bump it up. You guys, your sleep, your needs are like a mess, dude. These sims are kind of pitiful. We need to do like a skill or so. I mean, not a skill, a college thing. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna. I was saying earlier, like, make sure if there's any if there's any sound, don't don't feel afraid to to mention it because I know, especially with these older games, the sounds are so iconic, just as much as the gameplay, with all the music and everything. I forgot to double check because I mean I can visually see the sound and I realized that I like couldn't see anything. So, but yeah, now it's the fight of making sure it's not too loud. Like when the TV's on or something, I, I don't want it to be like drowning me out or anything. Audio is always so frustrating sometimes. I need to delete this. I forgot that's out there. Okay, you need to finish your, your term paper. I'm going to zoom on forward. Never mind, you gotta go to class. Okay. Good to know. Although he's probably gonna get a pretty good boost since it's fall. This'll be good for them. Oh, Jonah's gonna go to class. I'm gonna wake up, buddy old pal. He's friggin' starving. How about you? You're starving too. He wants to be friends with professors. We could have her do that. She doesn't actually want another skill point. I think if I have her be a friend with a professor, it'll get her to passing because now she is afraid of probation. That's something. Um, are there any moving out mods? Every time I move my sims out, the game resets the household time. Yeah, to at the 8 a.m. on a Monday thing. The only thing I have is I always use of course, since I'm playing rotationally, I usually like try to wait um, until I'm done with playing them for that round to move them. But I do have this one called Sim Wardrobes. You can see it on the Sim Wardrobe Season and Weather Controller. Looks like they, they have it on simwardrobe.com. But that one, you're able to set the season. And I usually am able to, you, you can like reset whatever season you're on because it's like of course, I wrote, I play rotationally by season, so I guess it depends on the way you play. Um, thank you very much for the uh, follow. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I can't see anyone's film, but I turned up the volume due to talking and... Sorry, this, that was loud. Oh my god, there's a really loud dog outside. It's a hound. <laughs> it's awful. I can't stand it in the films when I turn volume up due to the talking being quiet, but then I get blasted. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna make these college sims townies. Um, the... Well, that's, the that's what we were kind of talking about, is how... Because if I have a favorite, I'm okay with making them a pre-made but like with this situation we have a brother and sister so it's like would i have to make her a playable if i made him one to keep ages right i'm not somebody who cares about ages and it's always possible that i could just kind of remember to age her up in the townie pool once we age him up kind of thing but yeah yeah also i hope that that helps a little bit ellie sims there's also one that does day of the week which i don't always mess with unless i have to i think it's is it this one day setter doesn't say who it's by i think this one says set to monday sunday wednesday thursday that one also might be helpful oh sim manipulator i think i've heard of that i can't remember if it was like there was a reason i couldn't use it because it conflicted with something else i use but maybe that's also a good option um, and yeah, I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if I'll make them rotation, add them into the pre-mades or not. I kind of like the idea of adding maybe a couple, like a favorite, like if we have Edwin and Delilah seem to be kind of like an iconic little couple, if we want to have those two be like a new pair in town, that could be fun. Just to have some fresh, fresh blood. We're always, with such a small town as Veronaville, we're always looking for some fresh blood. Um, so I guess I can have her try and call, um, call her professor, maybe to just get a little boost. She wants to be friends with one of them. Maybe she'll be friends with the dude. Um, oh, she knows Miss Miranda, Summer Dream, apparently. Oh, and she knows Hermia Cap. Um, this guy, that's the first one I saw. Here we go. Uh, we'll just have him just talk. Usually just talk is enough. Oh, the cat wants the, the cheddar. <laughs> yeah, sleep with the professor? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I think... I wonder how much sleeping with the professor would boost. That would be interesting. It would be very interesting to try. Like, to get a... Oh yeah, look at that. How quickly that bumped that right up. He's already in the light. Amazing how much the professor stuff really helps. Okay, how much... Wow, that helped him quite a lot. I still would really like for him to do his... Um, he really wants to complete his freshman year. I want him to do his term paper. He seems like a little nerd that would make sure to do his term paper. Their sound is a little bit noisy in my ear. I'm gonna just do that. Like the sound effects. Oh, it conflicts with Sim Blender. Okay, interesting. Also, maybe sometimes if, it, if they work okay together, it might be like the load order. Sometimes it's like what one loads first is, is important. Maybe you've got to just happen to have them in the right kind of way. Maybe that's why I wouldn't have downloaded that one or something. All right, Edwin, you need to eat your sandwich so that I can uh, appropriately get you to do your, your work here. College. Right turn paper. You only have 18%, bucko. You've got 14 hours till exam. Who's running on by? Garth. Go do you, Garth. Oh, we got another legless boy. Oh, wait, is that Stork? Stork's also a legless boy. Stork. Oh my gosh. Mitch is still here. Kinda, I like Mitch. He's kind of a fun dude. Also, this guy's chilling, apparently. Yeah, the Sims 2 sandwiches do look good. For me, it's always the pizza. I always want the pizza. Whenever they open it and they sniff it and it's like steaming, I'm like, okay, now I want the pizza. I want the pizza now. Where are you going? Okay, that was a weird... He had to, he had to go to the bathroom real bad. He was running. Okay, bucko. You're still not in a great situation. I feel like you're gonna fuss about not, you know, not being happy. Oh, excuse me. 
No. Flirt. <laughs> can we can we smooth the llama off there? Um, can I just tell him shoo? The implication of wait of what? <laughs> I missed something. <laughs> implication of wait, maybe I forgot what I said. I don't know what would probably could eat something that doesn't upset your stomach or whatever. Oh, we got another everyone hydrate. <laughs> if you if anybody would like another hydrate. Also, probably at the maybe two hour mark, we could do a little uh, some two machinima break. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> he had a stink cloud after he jumped up from the chair. <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't even see it. I just saw him running. I was like, "Are you sick?" <laughs> maybe, maybe he uh, had a little accident. What is this? What are we happening? Receive apology? Apology for what? He's disgusted. Okay. Yeah, you're not having fun. Play a video game, broski. Yeah. He won't do his schoolwork because he's not having fun. Well, work isn't supposed to be fun, Edwin. Also, is- oh, girlie's at- at class right now. <laughs> Goo garbits. I always find the outfit with a tattoo so silly. Yeah, they disappear. Like, they age up and they just get rid of it, or they change into their sleepwear and it's just gone. Kind of funny. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of having a hard time with these guys' needs a little bit in, in trying to get them to do the things I need them to. Maybe I should just have them do an assignment instead, just to give them a little bit? Can you get out of our way, sir? That, that llama it was, like, right in our face. Okay, he's tired now. I don't know if he's gonna get to really boost himself up properly. I'd like to fill his bar. Sir, you're lucky we have the heavy sleeper trait or else you would be in big trouble. Yeah, you. <laughs> Looking right at me. Elderberry orange juice. Interesting. I don't know that I've ever had that. This guy's chillin'. He could be friends with somebody. He could befriend someone. Then you, you're pretty co okay. She didn't end up becoming friends with the person. I didn't pay attention, but she hung up. So that's okay, I guess. Oh, unlocked benefits. I don't know. I didn't, oh yeah, I didn't unlock any, but do they have points? Yeah, I guess they have points. They're just, oh, they only have four. I can just, yeah, maybe for their needs. Wait. Lower decay, maybe? You can do the need tree. How about that? That's a good idea. You can utilize that. Yeah, I like Roxy's little outfit, especially with the um with the with this little uh beanie on. That's fun. But yeah, that should help just a little bit, maybe. I usually don't ever use the benefits for needs because I don't notice that I need to, but for some reason these guys are being annoying. A little extra annoying. Are you just chilling? He's just kind of chilling. You have what? Well, since you're running around doing things, recycle some stuff because it's kind of nasty around here. I like to have some lights on at night, not have them all off. This one can be auto lights, I guess. Oops, I didn't mean to put all lights. Turn on this room. We'll keep this room on. Bomb. We got some nasty messes here. Gotta clean everything up. Okay, so we have a five hours as the exam. Can I get? I'm gonna have him wake up and just see if I can convince him to do like an assignment just to just bump him up just a little bit can you please do something for me edwin can you please possibly maybe 
Weird fun fact out of nowhere, there was a beanie just like that in Webkins, and it said dude on it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, apparently we cannot do the thing because Edwin's a big baby. It refuses to do anything ever. Okay, I'm gonna have him, like, have a snack. See if I can, can quell his hunger a little bit. He's gotta go to class so quickly. Probably like two hours. He's got three hours. Can he accomplish it? How fast can he do the homework? Nope. Oh my gosh, Edwin, please. <laughs> Edwin, please. Oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's insufferable. <laughs> Edwin, I'm asking, please. He's, I mean, he's still gonna get a really good grade, but I just want to like max him out. I'm struggling. Edwin doesn't play by the rules, by anybody's rules but his own. And he doesn't even remember those rules half the time. He's a, he's a rebel without a cause. Um, I don't know, have some more chips, bro. He's starting his cult leader. <laughs> that's, that's true, he's the cult leader villain arc. <laughs> what was it? What is his, what is his cult about? <laughs> he's a mathematics major. Is he, does he have a math cult? What is his cult? My sister put it on her elephant, so it would always put a beanie on herself. Sim. <laughs> nice. About the, that's true. Maybe he's like actually a Vidkin diehard fan. What if he lives in like a house that's like a replica, a replica of the Curious House, <laughs> like a bad replica? That'd be funny to try to build like a knockoff of the Curious House. <laughs> He just has, or it's like, I download that lot that that person made that's a Vidkin. I don't know if it's available for download, but that Vidkin Museum. That's, he lives in the Vidkin Museum. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Oh crap, they gotta go to their exams now. Crap. Well. Edwin, you're proving to be difficult. You're the favorite, you know. And you're not even relishing in that fact. You're just, you just don't care. All right, they're off to exams. I think they're all gonna pass, though. They should be fine. They all are okay. They always manage to squeak by somehow. Even the ones that don't give a crap. I mean, if he ended up flunking out of college, that would be a good reason for him to want to start a cult. <laughs> An education cult. We don't need no education. That'd be, that'd, that'd be the theme song. <laughs> the Cond. <laughs> that, that's, that's such a good... That, that would have to be the name of the cult. Okay, we got back. Oh, okay. Edwin's still got Dean's list. And he got an A+. Plus. Okay, so that, I mean... That was fine. Uh, I don't do the aspiration change thing. I don't like doing that. Okay, so Jonah, Edwin... Jonah got a B. Yeah, Jonah got a B. Roxy got a C. Edwin got an A+. Plus. He's now a sophomore. So we are going to end up seeing, getting to a point where it's just Edwin and not Roxy and uh, Jonah because they are a year ahead of him. So we will get a Edwin only year. I wonder if... I wish... Okay, I think it would be fun in celebration of our... What is this? What do you want? Do research. Sure, why not? We'll lock that in. He wants to learn anger management. I think they should go on like a little double date. Jonah is Roxy. No, leave us alone. I think they should go on a double date where these guys all go and then they invite uh, Delilah out with them so we can meet her. I was like wondering if there's any point that Delilah would like move in to the household after the fact or would Edwin like what if after these two graduate, we like drop Edwin into Delilah's household and, that, and we continue playing him over there with her, like having this like continuous chain of Sims happening because <laughs> they're like a little couple. Yeah, the inquisitive family. Maybe that's what he, he, he calls himself so he doesn't get copyright claimed <laughs> by the curious family. Uh, the only time we changed aspirations was with Juliet Cap. But after uni, I kind of felt she was more a popularity sim than a family. Oh, yeah. That's true. What? Oh, okay, there's a fire happening. Ma'am? How about we extinguish instead of we scream? You're burning your wiener. Why are you burning the wieners? 
Need to extinguish? Okay, not gonna extinguish. How about this guy extinguish? Can you extinguish, sir? There we go. Yeah. Good thing they've got it outside. I'm afraid that it'll, like, come through the wall or something. I don't think I have the extreme, like, fire mod or anything, but I was thinking about trying out a version of it eventually. I would like that a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. Fire to be a little bit more intense sometimes. There we go. There we go. Okay. The fire's out. You can stop. She just gave up. Yeah. How about... How's about... We, um... Or actually, I can walk to lot. Can we do... Um, college? No. What am I doing? Walk to lot, community lot. Do a community lot. We'll bring everybody with us, and then I'll have to try to call Delilah over so we can meet her. Yeah, more aspirations could be fun in The Sims 2. Surprise, they're, it's too bad they're, I think they're hard to make. It'd be nice if there was an easier way to make more. Um, I had to get a mod for The Sims 4 that would stop them from autonomously using the grill because they always cause fire. Interesting. Interesting. Downloaded the more extreme fires, but I have yet to have a fire. Oh no. <laughs> the one time you're going to get a fire, it's going to just engulf the entire house and you're going <laughs> to uninstall immediately. <laughs> Where should we go? We gotta go. She just burned her hot dogs. Maybe she wants to go eat somewhere. I'm gonna tell everybody we need to go somewhere to eat. What time is it? It's 1 p.m. They could go to the coffee shop. What is this? Oh, the amphitheater. I don't think there's. I don't think there's any food in the amphitheater. The library. I guess maybe we'll go to the coffee shop. Is the shops? Um, yeah, I guess we'll go to the coffee shop for now. And then I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna be a cheater. I'm gonna, oh, I was like, what is he doing? He was like leaning backwards. I'm gonna be a cheater and give cell phone to this guy. He's a little nerd. He'd have a cell phone that we can then call Delilah when we're on the lot. Uh, I installed the more extreme fire and it killed Dirk and Darren oh. next to Darlene's oh, grave. Oh no, you instantly quit and took it out. Was it that the, the that tree that's right next to her grave caught fire like lightning or something? Oh my gosh. Um, death by childbirth mod. Yeah, I don't. I didn't really ever like that one. I never put the death by childbirth mod in. Um, I don't have any mod, but once a fire started and. From the thunder thunderstorm and the rain stopped before the fire went out. Nobody was home until Tank Grunt, oh my gosh, came from work and he died. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, the tree caught fire. Yeah, that big willow tree that's right next to her grave. Yeah, I had that, I think it was, might have been around two in the goth household. We had, in Strange View, I think there was a, a fire that burned down a willow tree, surprisingly. But I don't even think I have the mod in. Everybody is so unhappy in this household. But we're gonna go ahead, call them. I'm gonna call Delilah over and see what she's all about. And maybe we'll have these two do a date, because they want to go on a date. Um, ask on date. Let's have a little date at the coffee shop. We'll call little Delilah. Oh, the real, 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 if I can speak, more realistic death mods, yeah. I don't, I've just never really, I'm more interested in like, I guess like the, just things that cause chaos, but not necessarily always kill my Sims, maybe. Some of them are just kind of depressing, like the, maybe like the childbirth mod. <laughs> uh, invite over, Look, hopefully she'll come over. I think I'm going to be a dirty cheater and just bump up their energy just a little bit. Just cause, oops, not bird watch. This make them a little bit less annoying. Bump up his hygiene. Just give him a little bump because they're just being annoying. <laughs> they're annoying me. He's going to. Oh. Um, sir, I need you to walk out here. Your girlfriend wants to go on a date with you. You need to do date things. 
Great job, Elisuru. I'm a dirty cheater. I'm always doing that. I'm always clipping that out of episodes sometimes when I'm recording. Sometimes I don't clip it out. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bump it. I don't always fill them all the way. I just give them enough so they don't complain. Okay, is she here? Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Christopher. We had another fancy dress. Here's, is that Delilah? That's Delilah in a fancy dress. I want to. I want to see her. Let's greet Delilah. Um, I'm gonna use the Gussie Up mod to change her into her everyday wear. She has a very iconic everyday outfit. Let's greet Miss Delilah. I find her to be a very cool sim. It looks really neat. I love her glasses. She's got a little bit of like Cersei Beaker vibes. <gasps> what if, wait, these guys are kind of like Vidkin and Cersei, the alternate timeline where Vidkin and Cersei work out? Possibly? Oh. Look at this iconic outfit with the with the boots and everything. Oh my gosh. Why are you embarrassed? Calm down, ma'am. What, what is this? Uh-oh, there's... They're not gonna go to class while we're here. I'm not waiting for them to go to class. Eh, not going to class. Okay. Hearing the name Delilah reminds me of the YouTube video. Hey there, Delilah. Oh yeah. I'm sure there was a lot. I bet there was plenty of the Sims 2 machinima that are the <laughs> that do the Delilah. That that was a very iconic emo kid song, kind of. Oh, do they make really attractive kids? Oh, the, the genetically correct vid can be interesting. Who is this, random? Oh, why did that date end so quickly? Oh, because she was going to class, is that why? That's lame. Here, we'll, we'll start another one. It must have canceled because of, because of the, the classes. Look at the, look at, okay, we're calling this, the other guy a bowl cut. Look at this true bowl cut boy. Look at this man, it's like, like a saucer or something. Like that's an actual bowl cut. Dang, that's impressive. That's an impressive bowl cut. Let's do some some kissing and stuff, I guess. I don't really. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really care about these two. So, oh, we got some kissing happening here though. These two just. I don't know. They're fun, but I care more about Edwin right now. Yeah, that's a gray hair. Um. Yeah, because class, I'm guessing that's what happened. There we go. I, I assume ACR is going to take over at some point. Um, can we ask this girly on a date? I guess we don't actually want to. You know, he's afraid of being rejected for a slow dance. Does that mean he wants one? <laughs> can, we, can we stretch that one as far as we possibly can? Love is in the air. Yeah, these two are already in a committed relationship, allegedly. Uh, they only have one bolt of chemistry, or at least he only does with her. Um, I think they're a great little pair. Who just did a streaker just run by? What did I just see? Yes, there must have been a streaker. Yeah, there's a streaker zooming around here somewhere. Oh, look at the, the unsavory charlatans out here doing moves. Why are you here, sir? That was quite iconic of him. It's quite iconic of him, I will say. I bet you money he's headed for Miss Crumplebottom. He's gonna go flirt with her. I bet you ten bucks. There he goes. He's serenading her. Every single save. Every single save. These two. The, the true OTP of The Sims 2 is this two. Right here. Look at him. Every time. Every single time. She's like, leave me alone. I gotta knit. I love it. I love these two. Even when I was playing, I was talking about how I was experimenting with playing um, an alternative version of River Blossom. I think it was River Blossom. Um, they were doing that too, even though I was just playing on my own. <laughs> they were doing that in that town. <laughs> they were great. Oh, got a posture check. Probably, I've got a weird pose I'm sitting in right now. I need to adjust myself here. I've got my pillow behind me. Enemies to lovers. I feel like they're not even enemies. I feel like they're just constant enemies and lovers at the same time. I feel bad. I don't want to force too much of their relationship. But I'm kind of having fun with these two. Edwin, you're not going to class. No. Stay here, Edwin. 
I wonder if I might have them just have a little date while we're here. Are these two just, these two are just, yeah, they're just ACRing it up over here. They're fine. Should they want to woohoo. Are they woohoo somewhere here? Uh, casual? Oop, I missed it. Where is it? Mm. Oh, I can't see it. Oop, the thingy. Uglyfied, thank you so much for the tier one and welcome in. I'm very good. How are you? I'm having fun with these pre-maids. I enjoy getting to know new new pre-maids. Oh, we got another legless boy. Ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Edkind. Edkind is a very good name. That's a very good name. I like that a lot. Also, I have no ACR options. Oh, because I'm literally selecting him. I'm whole. I'm okay. Let me get myself together here. Looks like there is no woohoo options on this lot. We'll have to wait till we go home. That's fine. We can just lock them in. We'll wait till we go home. I want to pay attention to these two instead. Okay, they are now on a date. They're eating hot dogs. Romantic. Look at these two little icons. I like, I like these two. Yeah, thank you. Thank you again, Uglyfied, for the, the sub. Very fun. Yeah, they, <laughs> I, like, I just saw Bagel Slide. They're my serious OTP. They're great. Little, I would love to try and like make playable versions of um, Mrs. Crumple Bottom and the unsavory charlatan together i think that would be i think that would be fun but like i don't know how you would actually do that in the sims 2 because obviously they would end up duplicating i guess unless you played in a town where you banned them from all the lots they wouldn't show up the, the actual npc versions wouldn't show up and you could like play their like their pre-made selves and that would be fun or you could just like make them in another game like in the sims 3 or something um, i'm good thank you i haven't been able to watch the last couple of streams live so i'm able to watch now yeah i'm glad you're able to stop by i'm glad i'm glad oh yeah and you got your little badge i was gonna ask to make sure the little badges are working the little I might come up with different ones eventually, but for now there's little spaceships. One time I had a uni kid, it was Gavin Newsom, date, and Woohoo was one of those cheerleaders who went around cheering. And the mem mem memory was registered as Woohoo with the help. Huh. Like it does with Woohoo and Maids. I wonder if Angry Jerry Cow is also registered as the help. That's interesting, yeah, if they're registered as like a... Um, as like a... Yeah, just any sort of NPC. Hmm. Uh oh, our time is running out on this date. What do we? What does she want? She wants to to play. We know what that means. We know that means a tickle. We got our date's going bad with Delilah. Hey there, Delilah, get up out of the goddamn chair. I need to let tickle you before our date is over. Where's the other two? They're out here enjoying their hot dogs. Who's this guy? Richard Luck? This man's last name is Luck. Oh, I'm a bit quiet and the game is a bit loud. Let's see. Might be with all the Sims talking. I'll bump it down a bit. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> he turned the game down. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. It definitely must be like... Depends on the, the space we're at and how close I am in. She has the want to be engaged to, to, to Edkind. <laughs> I have to call him Edkind now. Mr. Edkind. I hope it would be great if there was an, like an auto engagement moment that happened. I've been having a lot of those recently. It's been working out really well in my game. What does he actually want? He wants to entertain her. Does she like a dirty joke? Oh crap, it ended. Well, I've had better dates. Okay. Well, now, of course, now he gets some wants for her. Classic dance. Back rub. Sure. We'll do a back rub. <laughs> yes, there is. I think anybody can type it, but it's just exclamation point discord. We have the, the discord link. And hopefully it works. Let me know if it doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, thank you for stopping by, Meebles. Uh, yeah, you have a good night yourself.
every gnome. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much for stopping by. Thanks, that was a good time. Oh, that was that was those two. I guess they had an okay date. Yes, have a good night, meebles. Oops, we're having a we're having a moment here. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, she's flirting with us. She got an ACR flirt happening. At least he actually wants to do things with her. Do a little classic dance. Edkind has W Riz. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> these these terms. These terms. Oh, we might be able to find someone that has extracted the appearance, yeah, of the two. Those are... Oh, that would be interesting. Try to get the, the the other two there, the two NPCs. Oh yeah, we got only one more. She wants he wants to talk to Delilah. Let's gossip. Please give me another Delilah want. You're probably not. <gasps> he wants to get engaged to Delilah. You got the want. Should we do it now? Hi everyone! Oh, hi everyone! <laughs> Not me reading your message as a greeting. <laughs> hi everyone! <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Welcome in! Hevering. Hevering? I think I said it right. T. Hevering. <laughs> we have a, should we have an engagement at the coffee shop? Oh my gosh! Why does this look wrong? Why does she... There must be a custom hair, but it's like it makes her head look weird. I like it on her, but at the same time, what is going on? I guess it doesn't from the front. Maybe it's just the shape of her head. Kind of odd. Hello, Lucia. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're chilling with some college pre-maids right now. Oh, we have a makeout happening. Apparently she wanted a kiss. Very nice. I like the little ACR. Yeah, she has the Herb Oldly haircut. Also, there's a vampire. Why is it the vampire here? Hello, sir. Count Bracken Sullivan. You're a very handsome little man, Count Bracken. Look at him, he's so angry. He's got freckles. That's true. She. G I want to play. I think I want these two as playables. I don't even. And it's like, I don't know. I don't care that much about the sister. She can be a townie. And I can just remember to age her up whenever he ages up. Because, I mean, they're both going to be adults. I don't really care about the exact days, personally. Hmm. Did she leave? Is she leaving? Yeah, Delilah's leaving. Goodbye, Delilah. What's it? Enjoy your time in New York City. I have to share with you guys that I mentioned in some comment for Sam in the past that Consort Cap was soon to marry my recently widowed. Co oh, yeah, Cora Oldie. Um, was that the market? Playing, John Burb caught Tybalt kissing Cor Coral. I almost said Cornwall. <laughs> oh my gosh! Corals being the corals being the herb of your of your place. I think it's time to go home. <laughs> I think we've I think we've done enough here. Let's walk home. All right, guys. Also, yeah, she left. We did so we got we have engaged Delilah. We gotta get engaged to Delilah at some point. We'll have to invite her over, maybe out on another little date or something. Look at these stinky plates. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was like, this guy's this guy's swooning, but it's it's literally the the boyfriend. <laughs> Duh. It's probably Tibalt. You're probably right, it's T Tibalt. I think I always see the tie. The T Y and say tie Balt. <laughs> That's why, because I think of like the nickname would be Ty. But I think everybody's different. Tybalt. I'm pretty sure Tybalt sounds correct. You're going to be his step-grandma there in love. <laughs> oh god, that's right, because, yeah, because you said they they married consort. Oh no, or she married consort. <laughs> Not the step- oh god. I had a- I had a teacher. <laughs> We're gonna go down, a, down a, a story, story time. I had a teacher that was- Tibbs is cute, that's cute. Um, oh, we got bills. Yeah, I had a teacher that she was married to a guy. She got married to a guy, like, he already had, like, two, a few adult kids, like, fully grown kids. But And she married this guy. 
and this was like my sixth grade teacher or something and then she the guy like died of a heart attack that she married so she immediately married like like a couple months later married his son <laughs> It was weird. It made it weird. We live in a very small town. Like, everybody knows everybody. It was kind of awkward. <laughs> so now she was married to her stepson <laughs> immediately. And they just kind of acted like nothing was wrong. <laughs> it was like, okay. <laughs> and they're still married. <laughs> and he's like the police chief or some crap. So I was like, <laughs> okay. High school English teacher pronounced it Tybalt. Okay, that makes sense. I was pronounced Circe as Circe, not Circe. Interesting. Alexander and Dina. Yeah, of course, of course he is. Yeah, I don't know if he, I don't think he's still the police chief. I think he's retired now because that was years ago. It was a long time ago. There's a naked man in the house. There's a naked man in the house. He's sleeping. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to have him do some assignments. What does he want? Logic. Does he need logic? Yes, he does. That'll be good. Okay, they're running off to class. We're gonna let Edwin sleep a little bit. And then I'm gonna try and get him a logic skill point. Actually, he can play his video games. We figured that out. Oh, there, Christopher. What on the Pleasant View happened there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> The small town gossip. Yeah, the strange town connections. Strange town vibes. Oh, did he, he went off to class. Oh, well. Oh, oh my gosh, she's filthy. These, once again, okay, she was, she's worried about failing. So that's at least something. I can, I'm gonna have her, gotta go to sleep. Oh, she's gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna have her, maybe, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna get a shower. Because it's easier. Quicker. And it's not ugly green colored. I mean, it's still ugly green colored, but it's not the same kind of ugly green colored. <laughs> She's a crest punk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see him in his towel. Oh, he's back already. Buddy, old pal, I would like for you to play some video games for your logic skill. Oh, he's doing his homework. But I'm gonna have you get your skill first. That'll be better. Yeah, because he's like, he needs he needs a skill point just to make this worth it. He doesn't have a Dean's List want again yet, so we don't really have to worry about that. But he does want to do some assignments and things, so I just, I'll give him a skill point just to help him out. Roxy's entering her flop era. Oh no. Oh, it's 721. Yeah, it's 822 here. Oh yeah, we're actually at the two hour mark. Like I said, I thought we might do a little machinima break at the two hour mark. Should we should we pick out a probably just go at the very the beginning of the list of the few we have on the discord. Oh, we got dressed on the walk there. Very time efficient. I didn't even see that. Yeah, they're going to be sleeping and stuff. I don't I guess I'll save. I'll make sure to save. <laughs> that was very fun. <laughs> Sims 2 movie. It wasn't even that was that was a full movie, you guys. You don't even know cinema. If you don't think that was just a music video, you're wrong. That was a movie. That was an entire movie. Oops. I'm gonna go back here. There you go. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you for sharing that daydreamer. That was a fun little little uh uh what do we say? Little intermission, little break. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind. The, the 10 minute, that was fine because it was, it was interesting. It was fun to see, but I don't mind. Thank you for the follow, Grotty Dotty. And everybody stretch. I just had Olive fuss at me. Do you have to go pee? We have to, we have to take a, a BRB after maybe let Olive go downstairs for a second. <laughs> we could take a little, little break of Rooney. Maybe let everybody else, you know, can get up and Take a break. <laughs> Olive needs her potty. <laughs> Apparently. You need to go? Okay. Let's see. I can... My stuff here. I'll play some I'll play some more of the Sims 1 music. We'll do a little BRB. Oh, you gotta put some effort into work. <laughs> yes, good, good work. Oh, did the Discord link not work? I thought I had it set for everyone. That's annoying. Did it work? 
Oh, is it not going to work? Hmm. Yes, and thank you for stopping by, Chuby. I keep accidentally trying to almost say your name wrong. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> thank you for stopping by. I hope you get some work done. Yeah, I don't know why it's... Did, did Nutty Bot go to sleep? Let me try one of the other ones just to see if it's just that one. Seems like none of them are working. Huh. Weird. Nutty Bot here? I don't see Nutty Bot here. Uh oh. Nutty Bot went to sleep. Darn it. Oops. That's annoying. Well, <laughs> yeah, he's playing SSX3. Here, I can get a, like a literal direct link right now. That should, that should work. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna do a quick BRB, you guys. We'll, we'll do a little BRB. Uh, we'll play some Sims 1 music and I'll be right back. I'll be real quick. Okie dokie. I'm back here. Is that, that's on, yep. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, the hexagon house. Yes, I know which one you're talking about. Okay, <laughs> it was back. A little bit chaotic downstairs, but I survived. I survived. <laughs> I hope everybody had a, a fun little, little quick break. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the welcome backs. <laughs> I'm gonna try and see if we can... I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to because of... Um, I don't know, I guess we just got so distracted playing these guys. We might not get as many done as I thought we might as far as households in our time. I think we're gonna get some of these guys graduated. I think I definitely, what will I will wanna do is um, probably after these guys are graduated, maybe move Edwin over to Delilah's, maybe. And then we'll have that going on. Maybe that would be cool. They could get um, engaged because he does want to get her engaged to her. They ate a chunk of cheese. Interesting. <laughs> what kind of cheese? Oh, cheddar. Okay, <laughs> that's good cheese. <laughs> My favorite is mozzarella. It could work on starting their cult. I know. How is that going to work out? That's so funny. I, I can't wait for them to have their, their vidkind fan cult. That's so, uh, that's so funny. <laughs> this feels like something that should be in Strange View, not Veronaville, but at the same time it's like he has no access to the real Vidkin. If he was, if he was actually in Strange View, he would like have, um, like he, he would be that, that obsessed fan that shows up in The Sims 1 that kept showing up like when we were playing Miss Atomic Bomb in The Sims 1 Superstar. He'd be like that guy that just keeps showing up on the lot. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best that he's in um, Veronaville instead. <laughs> we should, I, I could even, oh gosh, I could even make his lot like a desert. Like he puts down sand, like I could paint it like sand and put like, um, put like cacti and stuff. Yeah, if, if they were in Strange View, Vidkin would get a restraining order. Yes. <laughs> Leaving black roses on the yard. Yes. I actually just finished editing a Bacon Magic episode. Yeah, a little mini Curious Brothers house. That's what I was thinking, is I have to make like a little Curious Brothers house, and then I have to get a bunch of pictures of Vidkin and put him inside. Like I said, I was gonna see if that person who made the... the Vidkin museum? I wonder if they would... if they have it for download, if they have some of those pictures as custom content that I could like use. That would be cool. Yeah, I like I like playing The Sims One. I was I'm glad that some folks are enjoying it. It's definitely not my most popular series, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I did one episode. I just finished editing an episode today, and yeah, it, it's been pretty interesting. What was I gonna say about that? Oh, it was the black roses. I've gotten to the point where I have a spell that I need black roses for, and I'm not sure how to how I want to acquire them. Yeah. 
Why are you barking? Don't, don't talk to me like that. No. She's talking back to me. Oh, oh, there's a car. I just heard a car door outside. That's why she's barking. <laughs> no barkies. I haven't gotten the cord for the olive cam yet. <laughs> I haven't quite figured it out yet. I'm gonna have a. Let's see. I I wish I I wish I had it set up. I had it set up. Give you something. I wish the sound didn't turn off when I clicked off the game. That would be nice. Sorry, you can't hear the actual game right now because I'm clicked off. Yeah, I know. I wish I could get the olive cam going. I was going to do a, a temporary olive cam. Wait. Gotta pick a good picture. There we go. <laughs> the temporary olive cam. Where should she go? <laughs> I don't know where the olive cam will fit once I have it. That's gonna block like stuff. Yeah, this is her when she was still like eight months old. There we go. <laughs> the temporary olive cam. Not quite lined up. There we go. <laughs> Olive now is like four years old. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I could put it like... It can be like little. Little Olive. <laughs> Can't really even see it. <laughs> little Olive Cam. Yeah, that was when she was pretty new. I'm gonna make it bigger again. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Another temporary little olive, olive PNG tuber. That's her PNG tuber. <laughs> she doesn't feel like being on camera right now. An olive on my shoulder. Yes. Okay, Buckle. That's right. We were having him. He can. Did he get a? Oh, he got a logic point. I'm gonna have him. I guess I'm gonna see if I can get him to do his goddamn term paper again. Of course, he has to start all over. No, of course, he's hungry. Buddy, you're driving me nuts. You know what? Oh, that's filthy. I was going to say, if that was still good, I could have had him eat that. going to have hunger desperation. He's going to give up on me. Let's have him have a toaster pastry, I guess. You're a real pain in the butt, Edkind. Eddie. There we go. We cleaned up our messes here. Yeah, she, she looks good. I like that picture of her. It's one of my favorite pictures of her. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just always used to having animals, so I don't even... I don't even... I guess she kind of would feel like a parent. I'd feel like a parent. Oh, a little late to stream. So these so these Sims are uh, pre-maids from Academy Le Tour. We have Edwin Sharp, his sister Roxy Sharp, and then Roxy's boyfriend, Jonah Powers. Currently, uh, Jonah and Roxy are the background characters that we don't seem to really care much about. Meanwhile, Edwin is the main character. <laughs> he's kind of, he's the main character here. Um, and he has a girlfriend who is Delilah, who's another pre-made in another household. Which, I, like I said, I think after... These two graduate, I might move him in with her and we'll play them a little bit, maybe toward the end of stream. I'm assuming that these two are going to graduate before the end of stream. They're juniors. They're a year ahead of him. Oh, so, yeah. He's the main character. He wears Crocs and socks. He's His lifetime wish is to be a cult leader. And we have decided that because he... he uh, this is his already set hair. And his girlfriend is very much like... Her glasses are very like Cersei Beaker, that the two of them are like strange town nerds. And so Vid um, Ed Edwin is a Vidkind lover. He's also obviously like an alien lover. 
So he's he's his his cult that he's gonna run is gonna be the cult of of Kund, of Vidkind. <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna be living in Veronaville because this is part of my Veronaville hood that we're playing. But he's gonna wish that he was in Strange Town the whole time. His his lot's probably gonna be like a knockoff of the Curious House because I've, I've decided that he is gonna become a playable. These two, I am gonna I think I will go ahead. They're very being very sweet. Sorry for the dog bark. Being very sweet, but I think they are gonna be thrown into the towny pool. Very nice. We got some chocolate. The cult of Kund. <laughs> I need a Vidkind emote. That's the other one we need. Is a Vidkind emote. Okay. You you're you're taking care as long as he's like able to survive a little bit. I'm gonna try and get him. I'm gonna interrupt him because we just we've like it feels like the semester goes by so fast. Like that's entirely my fault because I'm literally the one who made the mod who set up the mod. I didn't make the mod. I set up the mod. <laughs> So, the cult of Kund. Yes, he wants to get alien pregnant like Vidkind. Yes. Did he finish this? What is he doing? Okay, we're saving. He decided to give up and do his assignment instead. Fine. I mean, that's fine. We can do that. Okay, he decided to not, did not do his assignment. I, buddy, this man's insufferable. He's just hard to handle. He's a very eccentric little sim. Is it, is, would his, him being like neurotic at all? He does have, these are his traits also for those who maybe missed it. We did, we handpicked his traits. The other two we randomized, but his traits are ambitious, neurotic, schmoozer, heavy sleeper, and supernatural fan. So, oh, yeah. I don't know if neurotic affects <laughs> psycho. <laughs> Son could be psycho. Oh, they call Vidkin fans call themselves Cundies. I think I've heard that. <laughs> it's just such a. It just sounds like it's a bad word. Like it just sounds bad. Oh my gosh, she made some pancakes. Thank you, sir. Yeah, these guys are serving to just be our roommates right now. I feel like I'm mostly focused on this guy. We gotta try and friggin' sort him out here. Oh, we got some bills to pay, too. Actually, I'm going to have her come and eat. She's super hungry. What is her situation? She doesn't want to fail. So I should probably have her... I'll do have her do a logic point. Well, he's he's playing, so we're going to have her join him after he... After she um eats. She'll at least get a point so that she can then kind of fill it up. Who's out here? Is this the male? Okay. He's very much blocked by the, the tree. <laughs> if someone called me a cundy, I think we'd probably fight. <laughs> you can adopt a, a dog and name it Pascal. Oh my god. Did you finish eating, sir? I really need you to just... Ugh, this llama... Okay. Actually, he does have the want to research, too. Here. We'll do some researching. Let's college research, and we'll get this stupid llama to join us. Or maybe this chick. Oh, that's Roxy. I didn't realize that was Roxy. I guess I gotta wait for him to start. There we go. Here we go. Ask to join group research. Please, Mr. Llama. Lestan. Pascal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, he's just gotta have his whole his whole like I could make I could make his his knockoff house like all like makeshift looking and then it's just covered with pictures of the curious brothers just all over and then maybe also some pictures of like some of the other strange town sims that his his uh little wifey delilah into that okay now he's got the want to um be on dean's list so now we gotta grind buddy now we gotta grind okay she's gonna do her her logic point we've got that going on there we go There we go. This is boosting him up. Are they, they're also still in fall, which is supposed to be a time where in college they... Um, oh, she got her skill point, too. They, it's supposed to boost them a little bit in college. Okay, he's not having fun. 
Well, you know what? Wow, that look at how high that got him. That was really good. Okay, we're going to join play. I'm going to take a break and join him so you can get... Oh, oh, not our sister stealing our fun. This is our video game system. She's stealing. Strange Town influence is so powerful. Yeah, I know. I found... I love Strange... I love Strange Town so much. I really want to do eventually like a... Tr like a... Um, a Strange Town focused playthrough. I mean, because I, I like the, the Pleasant View Strange Town crossover, but I just love to do like a Strange Town focus. I've said before, I want to do the early Strange Town. I think that's probably how I'll do it, is by downloading that early Strange Town hood and doing that. Maybe that could become like a stream rotational play or something eventually. But it's so hard because there's like so many, so many towns in The Sims 2 that I'd like to play, but like rotational play takes quite a while to get through you know sometimes it's like i want i want to do another town but i'm like i can't just give up the one i'm working on especially since i have a series going on and i can't just abandon it oh you never haven't played it until recently but you're hooked yet i love strange town it's always been my favorite always I've, I've never been a huge pleasant view enjoyer i like it like pleasant view is iconic it's the you know it's the little soap opera hood everybody knows it but I just I've always been more uh, drawn to Strange Town. I've always loved like the idea of being out in the desert and stuff and like aliens and everything. Oh, Edwin's supposed to go to class. He's all right. I'm going to let him not. OK, we have exams scheduled in, at 8 a.m. Um, I would like for him to get a little bit more work in. Is Edwin available to talk? Is that his professor? I wish I could look. I'm going to say no for now. Oh, Strange Town was the first hood you played in The Sims 2. Interesting. That's cool. I can't rem I think I first I don't know what town I played first. I really don't remember. I just remember making Sims and never playing the pre-maids until I was older and revisited it. I feel like I remember when I was younger, I knew the pre-maids, but I never played them. I only played like my own Sims. But it wasn't until I was a little bit older that I started doing the actual like rotational play and stuff. That's true. I, I get that. So a little place, space to build. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's where maybe like adding a, a, um, a sub hood on. Because there's a few like interesting like different sub hoods that, that are custom hoods that are like desert towns that could go on to Strange Town. Could be interesting. Um, oh, you're always a Veronaville boy. I see that <laughs> hovering. <laughs> I was just checking back what I missed here. Uh, we'll be having another mission we break down. I forgot how hilariously fun. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want to do another? Um, maybe toward the end we could do another machinima. I didn't. I don't know if I want to do only one per per time or do a couple. We could always we could end off with a little bit of a shorter one. That could be fun. Uh, I was always obsessed with Chloe and Lola. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and they were kind of abandoned. I like the idea of Strange Town a lot, but I always get... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Yeah, the Curious Brothers are some of my faves. I've always been a Curious Brother enjoyer. Right now, the hood I play the most is Prosperity Challenge Hood. Oh, wow. You don't want to know how many Sims I have in there now? I'm guessing it's a ton. I'm guessing it's a it's a handful <laughs> more than a handful <laughs> as a kid i created my own hood called paranormica and every family was a different type of supernatural Ooh, that's really cool though that's really fun one time i a few a couple of years ago now i downloaded a um remake of okay is this girly just getting am, am i seeing her just getting up and down putting this plate what it what what are you doing? I keep seeing her picking it up and putting it. I think she's trying to eat it. I... Anyway, a couple of years ago in The Sims 3, um, I downloaded a like a, a tweaked version of the hood that comes with the Supernatural pack. I forget what it's called, but it came up with a with a um, with a um, what's the my 
My brain, I just completely lost everything I was saying. Wow, over 200 sims. Um, but yeah, it, it was like an emptied version. And I was able to rebuild it with like all my own paranormal sims or supernatural sims. And it was very fun. I had a lot of fun making all these unique storylines and everything. And I never really played it that much. <laughs> I just like left it alone, but it was very fun to make. I was very proud of it afterwards, and then I just abandoned it. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, I missed your thing, Christy. You did a posture check? Oh, yeah. We got a posture check. Christy did a posture check. Yes, chat's, sometimes chat's moving fast, and it doesn't pop up for me. It doesn't give me a vote, like a, a sound cue. I may, I don't know if I can set that up. Yes, we can do a posture check for anybody that that uh needs one. I'm doing like a stress stretch slash posture. <laughs> I'm snapping my back. But also, yeah, that's a lot of sims. 45 families played rotationally. That's the hard part about rotational play, is it's like like I never know when to end, you know? I like Everybody has different ways of making him end. I'm just never certain how I want them to end. Oh yeah, I get that. Some families are just boring. I feel like, um, I feel like playing, like doing a, like a, a YouTube series of it has forced me to, to play it more, like in a more structured way than I would have on my own. So I definitely, I definitely feel like, probably if I were to play on my own, there'd be families that I'd just forget about. Yeah, I don't know. I guess some rotational hoods, people do end rotational hoods sometimes. Um, and they, like, sometimes it's like, as soon as all the pre-maids have died, that's their end. Um, like, obviously for me, when it comes to the, like, the YouTube series, there's times where I'm gonna want to not... I'm gonna want to end them, find a way to end them, so that I can start a new one. Um, you know, because I definitely want to be able to explore multiple towns and things. But it's hard to like figure out when. I think it would be fun. I've thought about a lot of times about how I'd love to find a way for the, because like there's different mods out there that adjust how the zombies work. <laughs> and I've always thought it'd be super duper fun to come up with a way to do like a zombie apocalypse ending like the last round is like zombies <laughs> or something because there's like mods that make it so the zombies actually come onto the lots and like attack sims and turn them into zombies and like the last round is just like who survives the zombies <laughs> i just thought that would be really fun but i don't know when or how to do that <laughs> i feel like i don't know I, I think that would be there'd probably be some people that would really enjoy that and some that would just hate that <laughs> but i thought that would be great that's why I like with the thing that came up with the goth household where mortimer killed dina and then wants her to be a zombie i'm like maybe i should make sure i have the zombie mods installed and then just like maybe she starts the zombie apocalypse <laughs> Maybe Dina does it. <laughs> She's the beginner. And then she shows up on the other lots and starts murdering people or turning them into zombies. That would be great. <laughs> and I feel like, oh, that was the other thing I was thinking about was, oh my gosh, this plate of pancakes. The dead silence too. The fact that they just turned off the TV. So we're just in dead silence watching this man fight with this pancake. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it might be more creative. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of iconic. I feel like that would be fun, especially if it was Dina. Sir, <sighs> you're starving. Oh my god, these Sims are helpless. They're insufferable. Clean up your messes. Have some TV dinner. It's going to be time for you to go to freaking class before we know it and i really need you to work on some things and have him at least do some some homework after he's done there we go okay we might be able to finish an assignment 
Yeah, he's like, he's just, he's just trying it. <laughs> yeah, we got five hours. I think, I mean, last time he wasn't completely full and he still got deedsless, so I think it'll be okay if we can get this just to bump him. Oh, that filled him right up. Okay, we're good to go. He wants to learn some anger management. You know what? Why not? I'm just gonna let you do that, bucko. Oh, really? It's not, is the, is it the link not working? Do you have a Discord account already and you have it like installed or set up on your, P on your browser and everything? Fighting his inner hunger demons. <laughs> Oh, do they eat more eat more TV dinners? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I don't eat a ton of TV dinners personally. But yeah, I guess they've been I think it's an easy option for them right now to do the TV dinners. Username is already being used. That's weird. I don't know if it says username I don't know. Yeah, maybe you'd have to try and log out of another device or something. I don't know, that seems strange. I'm not sure why it would do that. Maybe I'd try logging out on everything that you have and then see if it... Or making sure it's not... You don't already... You, you didn't already end up joining or something? I don't know, that's kind of weird. And, or also make sure you're not accidentally, like, signing up again. Right? Because that almost sounds like it's telling you that I only use your computer and my phone is logged out. Okay. Because it almost sounds like it's telling you, it's almost like you're signing up and it's telling you that that's taken. Like, make sure you're not hitting sign up that you're actually um, log just logging in or something. I don't know. That's weird. I, I might be able to look it up after the fact, too. Okay, are we going to be going to class soon? Here we go. Okay, we're getting our finals going. We also have some bills. Which seems always is annoying that they have to pay the bills while they're here. But, like, it makes sense, but it also seems weird. Like, don't they pay tuition or something? <laughs> I don't know. We'll save. Also, I missed... Someone once had a, a mod that would make zombies fight a sim. And if the zombie won, the other sim would become a zombie. That's That's the mod... I've seen the zombie, zombie apocalypse going. Yeah, I've seen something like that. I almost think I've seen some that are like, um, almost like the, I don't know if it's like sometimes the sim might die or the sim might become a zombie. Like it's like a 50 50. Ask me to verify my email, but it says it's already being used. Huh? That's weird. Yeah, because it almost that makes it sound like it's you're trying to make another. Yeah, I'm not sure that almost makes it sound like. OK, yeah, maybe try like. Exiting out of whatever you're you're doing as far as trying to join the discord specifically. Oh, sorry, I, I just l missed that. And then like make sure you're logged in all right before you click the Discord join link or something like that. Like, make sure you're fully logged in without messing with the actual, our, like, the personal Discord itself, the server, if that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to do some Googling to figure out. Yeah. Might have to do a little bit of Googling. Okay, we have, we have some results here. Oh, wow. Jonah got an A+. I wasn't even paying any attention to him. He got an A+. Dang, he got Dean's List. Edwin got Dean's List, which is good. And Roxy got another C. She got a C last time, too. Look at these these sad little Sims. They're not happy. This girl is going to pass out. Can, Sim, can Sims die in college? Is that possible? Can, you, can I just have you pay all bills? Oops, not get mail. Pay all bills. Oh, that's right. Jerry died. Duh. <laughs> How could I forget Jerry? 
But I guess I was thinking maybe pre-made, or not pre-made, but like the Sims you're playing currently. I think maybe what was my brain was thinking. But I mean, it would make, obviously, if Jerry can die, anybody can die. <laughs> Jerry was the most powerful of them all, and he freaking croaked. So obviously, they, anybody can croak. Okay, these guys are gonna... What are we gonna do with you, bud? I'm gonna get you some food. How about you serve some lunch? Serve you some lunch. I don't know, should I invite Delilah over at some point? And have them get engaged? Engaged? Because this next semester, when he goes into his senior year, these guys are gonna leave. Of course, the issue is gonna be that we're gonna go, if, if I move him with, in with Delilah, we're gonna still end up playing Delilah alone for quite a while. Like for his last semester, if he lives with her. Yeah, I don't know. I assume their tombstone must stay there. Or maybe a family member can put it in their inventory. Oh, and they totally haunt the dorms. Interesting. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> An interesting name. Nobody died, but we were talking about the possibility of death. <laughs> Imagine spending all that money to have private college housing, but streakers and mascots still just kick open. Yeah, you'd think that would be like the perk of not having to pay. <laughs> I mean, not of, of paying extra, rather, of not, is not to have those people. Miss Joan is going to class. Okay, this guy just admired us, which is interesting. Is the llama into us? Yeah, that seems like a very bad way to die. <laughs> that would suck. Being stuck at school forever around all the other, like, annoying, immature, stinky dormies. <laughs> like, that that's a good time, apparently. Oh, has he? Did he go off to class in his friggin' undies again? I don't think he gives a crap. I don't think he cares at all. That's true. He's the he's the rebel. He's the rebel of of the campus. So I guess he's he's just doing his thing, his rebel thing. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I guess you gotta. Yeah, that that might. Maybe that'll help resetting. Answer the phone. Who's calling? Edwin is Jonah. No. Did I just? Why did I just notice that the llama has human hands sticking out? I don't know why I never noticed that. I feel like I usually see them have gloves on. Is it the cow? No, the cows have hooves. That's maybe what I'm thinking. Like I just never noticed the hands sticking out of the llama. It kind of breaks the immersion. I thought you were a real llama, Lestan. How could you? How could you do that to me? You're doing a bad job. Okay. What are you? He wants to do assignment, term paper, play computer game, do a research. He only needs a cleaning skill point, but like he doesn't actually want to get like the best of the best right now. So I guess I'll have him like. Let him do like a college, uh, let's see, do an assignment. <laughs> we need hooves. Must have hooves. I mean, llama's got friggin' hooves. Like, it's weird because he's a llama, but they give him like camel toes. <laughs> Not that kind, but <laughs> the, like, why's he got toes? He's got like camel feet. Why doesn't he have hoofies? Why doesn't he have hoofies? The stream has been banned. Oh, for, <laughs> I was worried. I was like, what do you mean the stream has been banned? <laughs> camel toe. Herb probably likes a good camel toe. <laughs> you think Herb enjoys a, a good <laughs> camel toe? Oh, he wants to go out and do a, do a telescope. But he wants to stargaze. <laughs> the, the Herb lore. <laughs> 
I liked in the in this in the Discord server somebody referred to to the community as herbalists, and I really enjoyed that. I think that needs to be like the community name is the herbalists <laughs> after herb. <laughs> Okay, buddy old pal. You're gonna actually do something? Oh, you gotta go to class. That should bump him up a bit. We're still in fall, so we're still benefiting from fall. Look at all the herbalists. <laughs> um, let me see if, if, um, Nutty Bot is still awake. I don't think he is. I don't know why. There's That should be the link there. I don't know why the bot disappeared. It's really annoying. I don't know if I can actually get the bot to work. Oops. Oops. I don't know what's happening. Uh oh. Crap. Uh oh, I can't see my I don't know if I don't know if stream is still working right now. My my screen just disappeared. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess it's back. <laughs> We're still here? Okay, I clicked something and then I couldn't see anything. I was like, oh god. It's Herb. He's taking over. Taking over. Okay. This man has decided to take a shower in the sink right next to this, this shower. That's a fun... That was a fun creative choice he just made. Um, you know, he's thinking outside the box. He's hungry, per usual. These guys seem like they're just constantly sad. Like they're just not, never doing good. Look, I don't know why. Also, I just realized these hot dogs that caught on fire are still sitting out here with the with the charcoal going. Somebody could have, <laughs> we could just close lid. Let's just get the hot dogs. I guess we'll get our, our three day old burnt hot dogs. <laughs> Yeah, they're like those 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 hot dogs are like mummified at this point. They're like super dry. Ooh, they're all filthy. They actually oh, he's eating it. Is he slob? Oh, he's a wicked slob. Uh this man of course this man's a slob. Charcoal dogs. Who's in our shower? Oh, is that oh that's Roxy. I was like, who got oh, also Edwin's home. The only one that matters is Edwin. He's doing his thing. I would like for him... How's his school? And that's pretty good. Um... I don't know. I guess I could have him get another skill point. He doesn't really care about getting Dean's List yet. I have a feeling he probably will eventually. I'll just have him do his cleaning skill point. Just so that he can do one of these things and have it actually count. For now. Yeah, this is an Edwin Stan stream. I, I enjoy Edwin. I enjoy the the attachment that has built up to Edwin this this stream here. <laughs> I also forgot I had Olive on the screen. I forgot about that. I just looked over and saw it. I was like, oh, oops. Yeah, this this household is a struggle, and I don't know why. I'm not really sure why exactly. Like, what has? Is it just that they have really bad furniture? Like, all their beds and stuff are crappy. And their fridge and stuff is crappy. <laughs> the underdog. The unlikely hero. <laughs> well, we got we have a stretch. Christy has done a, a stretch. My back's hurting. Oh, he got a skill point really quick. We can do that. Um, let's have him do a research. See if I can get somebody to join us. Doing a... Oh wait, I gotta wait for him to like fully sit down. Sometimes things you can ask ask to join once it's like initiated, but we have to wait here. There we go. Oh, is he is he autonomously joining? Oh, he's joining on his own. Okay, that's cool. We got a study group happening. She's having a meltdown over here. 
Oh, can uni houses get but I would yeah, I guess maybe it would make sense that houses but not dorms. Oh, not his anger. He's angry at the hot dog for harassing his girlfriend. There we go. There we go. We're gonna do another classic TV dinner. Of course, of course. Wait, where did Edwin go? How did uh, the, the, Jonah swapped out for Edwin? <laughs> we gotta we gotta swap a Rooney happen. Also, why didn't that accomplish his research want? That's weird. Maybe he got just re-rolled it again. He's super tired, at least. Can't believe how late it is. I should be getting home. Okay. Doggy scratch is happening. Don't his peak al mal alpha male. Yes. Oh, paper. We have too many papers. Uh, can they hire a butler? That's true. That's interesting. Um. Yeah. Well, they got some pretty good money. Also, our phone's ringing. Oh wait, she's answering. Who are you talking to? You have been chosen. They will come soon. Um, let's see. Call service. See if we got Butler. Olive, baby, you need to stop. Oh, baby. What are you doing back here? You're a restless little angel. You're a restless. Oh, my activity feed's gone. What? Thank you very much for the follow, sunnies. Sunnies. Uh, ever asked for your pronouns? I don't know. I kind of go by anything. <laughs> I think these days I have a little bit of a preference towards a they them, to be honest. But I'm I'm pretty open about anything <laughs> at this point. Um, it's the one. The Cundies are coming. Oh no, I've been chosen. They will come soon. What if Vidkind appears on the front step? Can you imagine? <laughs> Cundies, Cundies, Cundies. Okay. Also, yes, we can get a butler. That's so absurd. They literally, they, these guys have 25 hours until their final exam. We're going to hire a butler for the last day. <laughs> I give they them vibes. <laughs> yes, I've recently kind of been being more into that a little bit, or at least admitting to be a little more into that. <laughs> oh, welcome in, sunnies. Yes, I'm glad you're able to catch a stream. We're having some fun with this household. Um, I'm glad we started out with these guys, because so far they've been... Well, one of them has been particularly iconic. Particularly. Um, Mr. Edwin here. He is the, the Walmart wannabe vidkin. And we're really enjoying him. But yeah, these are some pre-mades. Look at our butler. Look at this professional little man's is. Oh, oh no. Oh, is he going to order? Oh, that's right. He orders for us. Oh, my God. Oh, we have some we have some acquaintances in the chat. <laughs> I always like folks knowing each other. We just we'll just buy everything. Yeah, I don't I don't mind she her. I mean, I get it a lot in life in general, so I, I don't really I don't really care that much, at least at this point. I'm, pr I'm pretty relaxed about it. But if I had to choose, it would be more in the they-them direction. <laughs> oh, we gotta... Does he Does he also accept the delivery? Hello there, Shrek me. <laughs> Are you going to accept? Oh, our, our butler's name is Gene Nash. Gene Nash. That's kind of hard to say. Is he gonna accept it? I love this concept of this this stupid like rundown dorm house with these these late these three perfectly capable children. <laughs> not even I mean they're not children, but you know what I mean. Perfectly capable folks <laughs> with a fancy butler. <laughs> like what a what a bunch of little brats. 
<laughs> we're a bunch of little spoiled brats. Okay, why is this guy? Okay, we're having a we're having a fight. Oh, okay. This poor old man. He's gotta go walk around. I wonder what he thinks of these guys. Like, what does he think? He's very hungry. This guy's hungry. We're trying to get some some food sorted out here. Okay, can we can we ask for a meal? Is he gonna make a meal? You need to stop. Come here and sit down. He's making a meal for you. Eddie, please. Edward? Yeah, maybe the cult will have a butler. Maybe he's but butlering for them out of pity. Oh boy, we got a cheerleader. Veronica. That's a fun name. Veronica. Girly, baby, can you please just lay down? I'm being super restless underneath the bed right- I mean, underneath the desk right now. Yeah, imagine this is their house. This man has has trained for years to work for like kings, if <laughs> kings and, and and fancy like presidents, <laughs> and here he is. <laughs> here he is, the peak of his career. Maybe he got fired from his last job for being bad at the butler thing, and that's why he's stuck with these kids. Be you guys stop? I'll be quiet. This guy's dying. Why does he do this? The f the the, f the shower's right here. He's just he's he's just really into this. He's just into letting it hang out in the middle of the friggin' why? Yeah, he got demoted. <laughs> yeah, I know Jonah looks like he's gonna friggin' die. I think it was mostly his hygiene that was making it so dramatic. Oh yeah, also, he really wanted to have woohoo with Roxy. We gotta finish that up at some point. We gotta do that at some point. <laughs> Craigslist butler, that's a very good way to put it. A very good way to put it. But she she still wants to woohoo with him, too. Do sloppy sims prefer sink showers? Did he get- I don't think he got into inappropriate, maybe- no. Good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe it's just his extreme sloppiness. Oh yeah, in The Sims 3 they did that a lot. Interesting. These two, this sibling, we have a sibling um, bonding moment here, which is kind of fun. Well, now that you're very happy, Edwin, I would like for you to, like, accomplish some things. Is this term paper a want? Yeah, let's see if we can actually have him write a term paper for once. Uh, I think this is the first time I've seen them talk together. Yeah, that's true. I haven't really seen them acknowledge each other. According to the, the household story, they don't really like Edwin. Everybody just kind of hates Edwin. So. Yeah, it's okay to ask. I think it's better to ask, probably, than at least in, in the right situation and everything. He's just a rebel, a bad boy, if you will. <laughs> Does things at his own pace, takes sponge showers and class only, goes to class only in a towel. <laughs> he's really showing the man. He's, he's, he's going to school on his, his daddy's credit card, but he's, he's really showing him. I had a butler, he just made spaghetti. The old Vincent special <laughs> in The Sims. Yeah, <laughs> need to make sure <laughs> need to make sure everybody knew <laughs> in The Sims. Oh, well, we have a everyone hydrate. If you, if you would like to take a sip of something. Yummy. Mm. Lips have been like wicked dry lately. I think it's because I'm not drinking enough water, even though I drink water all the time. It's the time of year. He's running off to class. He ran off to class in actual clothing this time. With his tattoo, his fake tattoos painted on and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, are you, okay, he's actually working at, wait, is that our girly? That's Miss Delilah. Hey, Delilah. <laughs> of course, the one time. Here, let's greet her. Oh, she's dinging our bell. One time we're working away on our term paper. He loves that gown. I have a mod that makes it so that Sims can show up randomly either in formal 
workout wear or every day i think and then also like outerwear if it's the right season and for some reason she keeps choosing formal i don't know why he has fake painted on tattoos oh look at this kiss oh my gosh look at this girly she's cool her name is colina bourbon you should date this one instead no i'm just kidding this one's pretty cool i still want to change her into her I, I, I'll let her keep her damn gown. I don't like the gown as much as her iconic main outfit, but... Okay, what are we doing? Be charmed. Ooh. I would love for them to have a, a an autonomous uh, engagement. She's a fancy official lady. She's trying to convince the engagement to happen here. I'm gonna have him try and make a little more progress on his term paper. What is this? Oh, wait. There's a... There's an ACR happening. Yeah, I love her main outfit. We have an ACR moment taking place. <laughs> Not in his sister's bed. <laughs> this shows you. Shows you guys. Everybody says I'm a loser. I'm gonna woohoo before you, sister. <laughs> oh my god. I really like Delilah. I feel like they could have some cool kids together. happening edwin with the llama in the room they had to have the camel toe in the room with them dun, dun, dun. are we gonna get a cutscene? i'm afraid the cutscene might be loud if there's a cutscene that happens <laughs> i'm gonna prepare and just turn it down a little bit Cutscenes can be kind of noisy peter the horse is here <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's very accurate. <laughs> the llama's getting a show. The llama's into dad bods and nerds. <laughs> That's, that, that quote's very accurate. Peter, the horse is here. We're gonna, we're not gonna, we... That seems lagging behind sometimes. Sometimes the music doubles for me. That's usually what happens for me is the cut the music doubles up or lags. This seems to be behaving. Oh, 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 oh my god, that's a fast forward. Okay, I can turn it back up just a little bit. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty good. Thank you very much for the follow, Tom James. Welcome in. Okay, well, well, we've just had our first woohoo with Ms. Delilah. We've got lots of singing happening on the lot right now. This guy's interesting. He's spying. He just had a picture of the repo van in his thoughts. Is he spying on our kids that we played earlier in the round? Um, oh, thank you very much for the follow. Bo Bobo Brains. Bobo Brains. Oh, we have a raid. Oh my gosh. Raided. Thank you very much for the raid. I didn't even see the raid. It's funny that it came through after the fact a little bit. Thank you so much for the raid, guys. Welcome in. <laughs> this is my second ever raid that I've gotten, so I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> Thank you for, for stopping on by. Welcome in. We're, uh, we're playing a little bit of Academy Le Tour. Oh, the, yeah, the Raiders, you guys just missed a woohoo cutscene. We had a spontaneous, autonomous woohoo. Oh, see, now he wants the Dean's List. He always ends up with that. Oh, he's at class. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that you enjoy The Sims 2. Yeah, this is... Um, so this town that I'm playing is actually... This is a, a university hood that's attached to Veronaville. And um, so... We've been rotationally playing the Baronaville um, on my YouTube channel, which is Sammy Sundog. I think my bot is broken, so I'm not able to link it right now, unfortunately. But um, yeah, new herbalists. <laughs> um, oh, you did Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, wow. Well, thank you very much for the recommendation, Bobo Brains. I'm a very Sins 2 fan. I haven't played Left 4 Dead before. I probably should. I enjoy, like, horror and things, so I probably should try it sometime. 
Yeah, thank you very much for, uh, I haven't played Left 4 Dead in years, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I've seen bits and pieces, but yeah, thanks for the raid. Yeah, we're just kind of chilling stuff, and we're trying to play through some of these pre-made university families right now. So this is a, a household that was already kind of existed in the, in the university, and I'm trying to just kind of progress them through their university time. You play COD on an iPad. Interesting. I have never played COD. I've never, I've watched, I think I've watched my brother play COD before. I haven't at all. <laughs> I've never played it. Uh, I think this needs to be kept forever. What does? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Elite 360 no scope iPad gamer. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, Edwin's probably an ice. Oh crap, did it not do the link? Dang it. Yeah. I don't know why it... I think I can... Can I click on you? Permit? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Got it. I don't know. I need to learn how to do things. <laughs> I share it in the Discord, okay. Sorry. I don't know, I can even, if you share it in the Discord, I can then link it in the chat for those who are, like, not in the Discord. I don't think it, I don't know how to, I don't learn how to do things. I'm not good at doing stuff. Oh my gosh, we got fancy food. I'm still, I'm still trying to learn how to do the streaming thing. You know, learn how to do all the things. I don't know why my, I could, I swear I... I made it so that my link permissions were a little bit more, a little bit more loose. Like you should have technically been able to. You'd think, especially like a, a twit. I mean, it's a, it's a twinch, a twinch, a, <laughs> a twitch link. Like it's a, it's a local link. You'd think that that would pass through, but not like you're linking outside of the the twitch, you know. It's kind of weird. Anyway, is is Edwin back? Yes, Edwin has. Oh my gosh, he's like maxed the hex out. Okay, but he doesn't have his dean's list want anymore. He just wants to complete junior year, which he's definitely gonna. So I don't know. Should we do an engagement moment? Should should he engage? Get engaged to, to Delilah in this chaotic dorm room where everybody's playing video games and crap. Like look at how full this room is. <laughs> Yeah, the, the llama and the cheerleader really are into this place. They seem to really enjoy. Oh, you got a redemption. Yeah, I don't know. I need the redemption to make a sound. Thank you for the re stretch redemption. I need to do a stretch. I didn't see it because we were talking about the link. Oh my gosh. With a stretch. Are we eating? What are we doing? I guess we're eating. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It's all right. Where did Delilah? Did Delilah leave? No, she's here. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for engagement. We're gonna do an engagement moment. I'm just gonna let it happen. Yeah, I know, the house is immediately a mess after the butler left, that's true. I didn't even know the butler, like, leaves. For some reason, I thought he, like, lives here. I guess it makes sense that he kind of goes. Are we gonna- yes, we're gonna have the cutscene in the- in the messed up room. Look at- <laughs> Everybody playing video games behind us. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> Next to his alien propaganda. Oh, he fell in love. Oh my goodness. Wait, what is this? Influence someone to serve a meal? Influence someone to clean? I'm gonna lock in Dean's list. <laughs> Better love story than Twilight. Yes, the llama in the background. Of course. Of course. I think she also had a want, looks like, to, to be engaged. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you do the Sims 2 Uberhood with pre-made Sims, and sometimes I might do Sunset. Sometimes in Sims 2. Oh, I see. Yeah, I know what you mean. The Sunset Valley Sims. 
Yeah, that's cool. I sometimes I like the I have a um, a YouTube series where I do um, Pleasant View and Strange Town mashed together. We call it Strange View. So it's like technically an Uberhood. I call it a Mega Hood sometimes because it's not like a true like all the towns Uberhood. I think the, the Uberhoods get a little bit like almost overwhelming for me. But I think it's crazy. Some people really get into them. What is it? The 9-11 to Twilight Pipeline? What? Or Twilight was based off. Oh, boy. The Sims 3. Yeah, I've seen some... Um, I've seen that Sunset Valley made into The Sims 2. I'm pretty sure I've seen that somewhere. That seems like it'd be cool. There's probably a lot of Sims, I would assume, because The Sims 3 towns have so many Sims in them. Oh, yeah. I had a friend that did Uber Hoods and it would take them so long to get through the whole thing rotationally but like if you're if that's your thing then it's like it's you know it's <laughs> it's fine <laughs> i just i don't know i like to have them i'm finding i enjoy like things being a little bit more clean cut and controlled um that's why i think i i like i've been enjoying veronaville so much even strange view gets a little overwhelming sometimes with so many sims Obsessed with the CG baby at all ways. CGI baby. Oh boy. <laughs> um, I, I've tried playing Life is Strange. I've watched somebody play Life is Strange. And like I enjoyed watching it. But then when I tried to play it, I felt like it kind of ruined. Having already watched a lot of it ruined the enjoyment of it, I think. So I don't know. Maybe one day in the future when I forget what has happened in the game, I would play it. But I, I don't know, it just didn't, I didn't enjoy it as much playing it myself. It might have also been one of those things where it was just like... Some, some games are f more fun to watch people play sometimes than play yourself. We're just having kind of a chaotic, weird little household happening right now. I don't really know what's, what's going on. <laughs> Good thing he's a heavy sleeper. I'm gonna have him go to sleep. I have exams very soon, eight hours until exam. I assume it, it's going to get rescheduled, or well, no, if it's eight hours, it'll be probably right on time for the morning. Okay, everybody's leaving. Oh, oops. Sorry, Delilah. We went to sleep on you. <laughs> yeah, the decisions can be a little bit hard. It, it, it does get annoying when, um, like, you have to you have to make a decision and you know it's going to impact something in the game, like it's going to change the direction of things. And it's like, it's hard to tell exactly what's going to change sometimes, and that gets frustrating for me. Like, I want to make sure I'm making the right choice, but obviously the whole part of the game is you don't know how it's going to affect it. So it gets kind of like, ugh, I don't know, kind of anxiety. Oh, for games you want to play yourself, you stay away from Let's Play. That makes sense. Yeah. Some games I would do that for, like... I'm trying to think. I feel like there was one that I just didn't want to watch any gameplay of because I wanted to play it myself. I don't remember what it was. Might have been when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out because I definitely didn't want any spoilers for that. Maybe that was it. Oh, some of them didn't make a difference. Yeah, that's interesting. Apparently a lot of people don't know how to save Kate. I think it's hard, but... I know how to save her. I think I've seen in the, one of the playthroughs I watched of somebody saving her. Yeah. But it's like, that's interesting that you have those choices to, to do. So yeah, we're, we're showcasing the heavy sleeper trait real strong right now. So, <laughs> yeah. We, okay. Okay, they're going to have to do their, their exams very quickly here. Pretty quick. We'll have... Oh, the butler's making us a nice home-cooked meal. Very nice. Very good. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, what? What is it? Okay, so Edwin's gonna go to his exam, but it says Jonah is in a bad mood and won't go to the exam unless you do something quickly. When a sim misses their final exam, their class performance takes a hit. You can direct your sims to go to their final exams by clicking on them when they are active and choosing college, and then go to final exam. Sims in a good mood will go to the final exam on their own. That's weird. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are those two gonna be okay for your ex time final exams? We got our answer. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, I don't. And also, are they? He's passing. She's not. She's not passing. Okay, what is his worst? He needs to just take a shower. I'm going to force him to actually take a shower. I think once he takes a shower, I guess we'll save. Sure, why not? Oh, yeah. Maybe because he's getting locked into the, the skilling. That's interesting. Okay. These two are going to their exams. Edwin's going to be fine. I think Edwin's going to make it all the way through. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to head off now. Oh, wow, you got, got to get some sleep. I got a birthday dinner party. Oh, one of your friend's birthday party. Oh, I have you, hope you have a good time. And thank you for the raid once again. If anybody wants to go give Tom James a follow, that would be cool. Am I able to do... Let me see. I got to learn how to do things. Does that work? Oh. No, it didn't work. Oh, I have to figure out some of the commands. I need to look up some things. I feel like there's some things I'm learning as I go. But anyway, thank you so much once again for the for the raid. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you have a good good night. Hope you do. I like the I like your your emotes. <laughs> Is it slash? I did slash s o. Probably okay. Shout out. Thank you. <laughs> Does that work? Well, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta look them all up. I gotta figure out the stupid that the link thing is annoying me too. The fact that the link didn't go through. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Did he go? Okay. Did this guy go? Wait. This guy didn't. Sir. College. Oh. Go to final exam. There we go. He's, he's running off in his towel once again. Running off in his towel. Oh my goodness. But yes, I hope you have a good night, Tom James. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we have some returning kids. Returning kids. Okay. <laughs> I like the I like the, the towel moment. Edwin has a high enough grades to snag a spot on the Dean's list. Roxy, wow. So even though Roxy was way in the red, uh, she still got a C. Sometimes the grades are confusing. Yeah, <laughs> Jonah was there for 0.5 seconds. He's going to be one of those elders. The When I was your age, I had to walk to school the snow in a towel. <laughs> in the snow in a towel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the reality was is he was just like a drunk, lazy kid. Okay, and then Jonah got to see, yeah. Huh. Well, these two have graduated. I, I probably could just send them right off to Baroniville. Send them right off into town, and then I'll eventually just send them into the townie pool. Um, yeah, imagine attending class with some guy in a towel show. Honestly, I'm sure that's not out of place at some universities. I'm sure that some universities, it is it is very normal for that to happen. <laughs> Veroniville, where the townies go? Townie, Veroni, Townieville? Maybe we need to have these two woohoo before they go, because they haven't even woohooed yet. They're both exhausted, though. I'll let them sleep for a second. I'll just let them... Oh, Edwin's right off back to class. Okay, we'll just fast forward a little bit. We'll let them sleep. And we definitely did not get as far along in this household as I thought we would. Because <laughs> we're all we're three three hours and thirty minutes in. Um, no. And I'm sitting here like Wait, wait, you're telling me Edwin got it all yeah, before Roxy. They're both romance. Yes, exactly. That's a that's exactly a very good point. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh yeah, well, it usually takes me two hours per her household, so we'll get through a couple in four hours. Here we are almost at four hours, and we're still on the first one. <laughs> That's okay. Ed couldn't. Okay, Bucko, I'm gonna have you get up. We need to do a final we need to do a final parting gift. Not add to friend zone. I need you to wake up. 
There we go. Woohoo bed. Also, this man is in here. Not you, sir. Okay, the brother is here. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't know about this one, Edkind. He's, he's just so... <laughs> <laughs> Peter, the brother, is here. <laughs> Peter, the Kundi is here. The Kundi is here, Peter. Are they really gonna just go to town with him here? Is he gonna... He, he might leave as soon as they start? <laughs> the computer is not good enough for the Kund. Oh, God. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Okay, he, they, they, he went like... Yeah, got him out. <laughs> His eyes on the prize. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god. This one's loud. <laughs> Gross, dude. That's your sister. Yeah. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, they got their official woohoo. Now he just wants the woohoo with multiple sibs. He doesn't even care. Solitaire was too, far too important. Far too important. There you go. Okay. <laughs> well, I think they're good to go. I think I'm going to send him off. He's in there. What's she, what's she doing? I'm going to have her call. Move back to Veroniville. Veroniville. He was playing Minecraft. <laughs> he, had to, he had to find the diamonds. She wants a handheld game. She wants to be best friends with Croft. I don't know who Croft is. I wonder what she's gonna age up into. Well, of course, of course, she's in her PJs or undies. I don't know if. Oh, okay, <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. Can she change? Is she gonna change into probably into her outerwear before she she runs off? Oh my. I'm definitely gonna tweak her a little bit before she uh, goes off into the townie pool. She's aging up into a mess, yes. I'm turning in for the evening. I'll be back first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Oh, but now this guy wants to graduate with honors. Is that what this is? Hello? Graduate with honors, yeah. <laughs> Our comfy undies. I mean, if they still fit, why not? Call, move back to Veroniville. Now that the butler, now that butler is not only working for a college house, but there's only a single dude living there. That's very true. That's very true. And <laughs> yeah, we're gonna move Jonah back. So that was saying, it's like, I'm gonna be here for 24 hours and I would like to move Edwin in with Delilah so we can play with her a little bit. We can jump on over there. Which I think I can just do from the... from the neighborhood. They're engaged anyway, so they might as well live together for like a semester before he's gotta go. I know it kind of messes up technically the whole time and everything but i i'm i don't really care as long they're just gonna both graduate eventually anyway so okay he left i didn't even pay attention to what he aged up into i think it was just a boring <laughs> a boring outfit <laughs> okay joan is gone <laughs> look at look at this sad man he's just alone <laughs> in his towel i need a picture <laughs> sad little man <laughs> He's a sad little boy. Not Olive scratching in the background while I'm trying to have a moment. <laughs> yeah, it was a, oh, a tank top and shorts and slides. That's what I thought I saw for a second. He has some very nice green eyes. I will say that much. That looks very nice. He, he's missing a jaw. He kind of doesn't have much of a jaw going on. It's kind of... His Kundi career begins. Oops. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I need my UI back. I'm gonna save. He's a very soft jaw. The soft jaw boy. I'm gonna save. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to the neighborhood. We're, we'll just, I'm just gonna see. I think I can move him out and plop him right into Delilah's household. I'll just do that. I don't think it really matters. We're both just kind of... Oh yeah, Machinima's... Yeah, I think probably the last... Yeah, we'll be getting close to being done anyway. We're there four hours. Yeah, Delilah's house looks really cute. That's why I kind of want to move... This was it, right? Sharp, yes. I want to check her house out. So I want to put him in there so we can see what's going on. Doing our little, little leapfrog. Okay, I'm going to actually read hers because I forgot to read theirs. Delilah enjoys the peace and quiet that living alone offers and moved into her own house as soon as she was able. Who wants to deal with the drama of roommates? Well, you got one now, girly. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about it. There we go. His, his crocs show up as skin. Look at his crocs in this picture. It was skin. Croc skin. Must have hire a maid. Okay. Look at that. We got our moved in here. What is that awkward animation for a second? Look at these two cuties. Also, the, the time, the, the season has changed. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, sorry, the main character, make way for the main character. You are now becoming the main character's love interest. Be prepared. Make preparations. He wants to go swimming. Hi. <laughs> he just looked at me. I hate it when they look at me. Skin crocs. He had skin crocs. This house is cute. I like this. I like our little, our little chairs. There's no friggin' bookshelf, though. I'm gonna give her a bookshelf because we're gonna need it. Maybe there's one upstairs I haven't seen yet, but. Give her a little bookshelf. That's useful. Oh, she wanted one. There you go. I knew what she, I, I, could, I could tell intuitively what she wanted. Okay, this is a cute, I like her little house. These guys have their own little, little fancy house together. It was very nice. Oh, we have a posture check once again. Yes. Is up straight. My back's snapping and cracking once again. <laughs> yeah, I like the I like the bed. It's cute. Very kind of. It's a little bit like whimsical and like old fashioned, which is interesting. I like it kind of with these curtains. This is fun. It's a fun little moment happening. Oh, she just wants to make out with him. She's also a knowledge sim though, which is interesting. Oh, okay. I guess they're they're kissing. Oops, I'm, I'm clicking on her while selecting here. Make out. I don't know, should I... We, first of all, we can set up some traits for her. Grandma core vibes. Oh yeah, her bio, that's true. We need to look at her bio and set up some traits. This is her personality. She's kind of shy. Everything else is very middle of the road. Kind of interesting. She just keeps wanting to kiss this man. She just, she understands. See, everybody else hates on Edwin, but she gets it. She sees what we see <laughs> in Edwin. <laughs> she sees it. <laughs> Delilah is aloof and sticks to her own kind. She prefers paintings to people and loves the color yellow. Interesting, she loves the color yellow, but isn't dressed in yellow? That's kind of a fun little detail. <laughs> Why is the news lad having a mental... Oh, I didn't even see him. You okay, sir? Like yellow, like Vidkin's hair. Oh my god. That's very true. That's very true. What are you looking at? She was looking right at his belly. She gets it. She understands. Yeah, it does have some yellow tones. I think probably they were they didn't have yellow glasses and they're like trying to match the glasses and stuff. I'm guessing. Okay, what is her major? They just keep kissing. They just keep kissing. She's an art major. That's fun. She's a little art girly. Uh, become world-class ballet dancer. Is that in line with what you can get with the art major? No. Maybe I should change her, her lifetime wish to something art-related. Also, do you think I should change the season to where we left off with him? Maybe I could change it to winter to make it feel a little bit more like... Because it feels weird that we're suddenly in summer again. <laughs> I'm going to drop down.
just throw some things out here while we're, we're screwing around here. Yeah, they are very obsessed with each other. That's true, we could- wait, we could have her do portraits of him, though. I don't know about nude, but we could have her do portraits. We all want what they have. They have matching here, they kind of do. You know what's funny, though? Oh, look at the serenade. I'm pretty sure- I don't know if I want to ruin her look, but it'd be fun to experiment, because I'm- I'm 99% sure I downloaded a female conversion of the Vidkind hair. Would they both- maybe that's part of the cult thing, is they have to have the same hair? <laughs> is that- is that a requirement of the Edkind cult? I'm pretty sure I have it. My game's probably gonna explode from having to generate the hairs. But I swear... Scouring the custom hairs. They have matching hairs. <laughs> Hmm. Mm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or you get paid to pose nude for a college art class. Yeah, I think people get, yeah, people definitely get paid for that kind of stuff. Dang it, I thought I had it. Maybe it's farther down. Not seeing it. I feel like it would be pretty definite. I definitely would see it. I've got a lot of hairs in here. I just want to see what you would look like in it. The matching haircut. I think that would be kind of iconic. Maybe it's- I don't know. Is it only for blonde? That would suck. I wonder if it's also like... What do you want to say? Like binder or, or whatever it's called where it goes- they, they make it so it doesn't look like custom content. It's listed with the basic hairs. Maybe not. I swore I downloaded it. Maybe I didn't end up putting it in my game yet. Maybe, maybe. If not, I can make sure I have it for next time. Hmm, I didn't see it. Who's this one? That one's kind of funky. If I don't find it, I won't change her hair, but I just wanted to see. You think you saw it? There's this one, which is pretty close. Like, that's good. That's a- that's a store hair. Is it toward the end? Uh-huh. Uh, we're looking for a Vidkin- I have a Vidkin hair conversion. So it makes it so that the Vidkin- I have the Vidkin hair for females. I don't see it. That one's pretty close. We might stick with that one. Yeah, I don't see it. Hmm. Oh well, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. We'll give her this one for now. I'll have to try to double check. There we go. Look at that. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> she looks great. <laughs> she looks great. Okay, I'm gonna set season three, so we're in winter time. I'm gonna do find a, a new um what you call it. Oh, we have a everyone hydrate from Doom Face. Thank you very much. Yeah, she kind of she does look good in it. So she's an art kid. We have just like, oh, that's, that's not art. Hmm, collect all mementos. I'm a space pirate, that's fun. Hmm. Or should she also have the cult one? Because like, his cult- he has the cult one and it's not part of his thing. Like, it's not part of his, like, job. Should she also? She had an art history vibe. That's true, with that hair. Yes, definitely. I'm gonna- wait, I'm gonna do... 
ignore restrictions and we're gonna give her become cult leader as well <laughs> they're the cult couple cult leader couple da 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 Oh, yeah. oh, we're doing a we're doing a dance kiss. She wants to woohoo with him. Oh my gosh, and he has like no wants for her at all. I don't know. Should we? Should we? I don't know what kind of traits. Like we've got aloof and sticks to her own kind. Yeah, she'll design all the logos. Oh boy, this guy again. But at least he's in his proper outfit. Oh, Ed Edwin's got class, too. I don't know what... We could obviously do, like, artistic for her. I like to handpick hers because she's also special. She's a special character. Um... Definitely need, like, artsy. Whatever art is. Oh, there's also avant-garde. Which she feels like she would fit the avant-garde bill. Well, it's just full of Vidkin silhouettes. She does all the paintings of the Vidkins. That'd be great. Um, she was shy. I'm pretty sure there's a shy. This is the shy one. There's also socially awkward. I don't know if she should just be shy. Maybe that would make sense. Um, also said she's aloof, which makes me think of like the brooding option. I think of like brooding. Yeah, the shy face is kind of spooky. <laughs> the shy face is kind of odd. A little bit scary. Yes, I definitely need to download or like, yeah, or I can do like if I take a bunch of pictures of Vidkind and stuff or like find also find Vidkind like like generic Vidkind pictures on the Internet and stuff, I can put them into the custom paintings folder. And that can be their whole thing. Is she just, they just, they could have a, what if they had a home business? They're like one of those creepy cults that runs their own business. And nobody even realizes they're buying from a cult. Right? Like she could be like one of those and she, they sell Vidkin paintings. Like that's their entire business. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> they can also be part of like the, I mean, obviously they're, the, the lifetime wish they have is like being, in the paranormal career, which I think they could still do. But yes, yeah, so we could we could still have them have like a Vidkin painting business. It's so funny. This is so weird and cursed for Veronaville, but I kind of love it. Moonlighting as a cult. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that'd be funny. Yeah, they do look like cursed emojis. I don't know what else she should have. Should she have something like perfectionist or. I don't know. I mean, like, look at her again here. I really like her interest. That's. Oh, she likes money. She's in, she's not into politics at all. While well, he is, she's into culture and money. I feel like the culture one goes with this a little bit. A perfectionist. I feel like I feel perfectionist vibes from her. The bangs we just gave her like give her like she's trimming them every morning to make sure they're exact. Frugal's good. That's a good one. We do perfectionist and then frugal for the for the money interest that would be good that's all five there we go that's a nice bunch of traits for her i'm just gonna delete that for now the only thing i think is that um and i think i can just delete these because we're done with this there we go we got her situated they're all situated very nice i like that for her okay buddy you gotta go to class so you're gonna stop that it's unfortunate that he is only here for a semester, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, not, you know what? We're not working out. This guy can leave. He's leaving. We're gonna continue painting. Oh, not scrap. Ugh. I have this weird issue in my game right now. Whenever a sim starts a painting and they stop it, I can't instruct them to continue it. I can only scrap it. I don't know what's going on with that. Also, this lady's here. Why are you here? Anthea McChrystal. What, what do you want from me, Anthea? I'm going to lock in Woohoo with, with Edwin. Oh, now she's going to go to class. They have no confidence in their work. <laughs> oh, yes, you, that's a I, I forgot about sinking her semester. Uh, thank you for reminding me.
University fixed student. Good work. There we go. Dual. Yes, thank you for the reminder. I would have completely forgotten and just been working away at her and then realizing that I was wasting my time. <laughs> she also needs a little bit of, of skill points. What time are we at? Oh, we're at 350. Yeah, we might might go ahead and wrap up soon. Um, we definitely is this like one dead flower over here, or is it just dark? I guess it's just dark. I really want to drink soda, but it's 10 p.m. Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> Guzzle a soda. Why not? A Kogi Cola. <laughs> you gonna do your thing, buddy? Yeah. I figure... I don't know if we'll probably... Let me save. Let me just save to make sure we get everything sorted. Um, maybe, maybe we'll play these guys again next Tuesday. Maybe that'll be the thing. Because I'm going to upload this VOD by the end of this coming week as like the... Oh my gosh. Wow, 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that's that's wild. I can't ever stay up that late. I, I commend you for being able to because I simply cannot. <laughs> I'm already tired right now. But... Yeah, so... No, oh, thank you, Christy. It's very kind. <laughs> but yeah, so I um, my plan is on Thursday. I want to revisit uh, The Sims 3 Legacy, which I intended to play last week, but then my streams got all screwed up. Um, but yeah, so probably we'll be we'll be back Thursday around. The, I, I'm going to do a 630 start time again on Thursday to uh, play some Sims 3. Which I really enjoyed streaming The Sims 3 last time. Um, that was fun. It was very chaotic and things were happening constantly, but it felt like a good way to kind of get some good stuff done in the legacy and get some progress. Cody Pop is being consumed. Very good. <laughs> very good. Yeah, Sims 3, especially Sims 3 with the story progression, is very chaos. Very chaos. But yeah. I think do we do you wanna do we wanna watch? Are we awake enough for another machinima? I could do a short one. Oh, slipping slurping some gingy ale, nice. And yeah, we can watch like one last little machinima. I think I'll um I'll save and exit this and then I'll swap over to the machinima screen. But yeah, I enjoyed this. This was fun getting to know Edwin and coming up with the chaos. I'll swap over to this while I'm getting it sorted out. But, um, that was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed the, I enjoy the surprise of, yeah, aka Edkind. I enjoy, like, the surprise of not knowing, not knowing the pre-maids and then suddenly finding the next icon <laughs> of the bunch. <laughs> I think there's a bunch that are less than four or five. Yeah, I thought we could watch a shorter one. Yeah, if they, if they want to see it, they gotta get the exclusive content live on stream. This is probably also going to be muted in the VOD, possibly. But, yes, thank you so much for coming by. It's been a very fun little stream. Thank you so much for those that subscribed. And we had a cool raid. I'm getting used to the raid thing. i got to look up. i got to remember to take notes to remember how to learn things that come up. <laughs> like the... I think I might... Yeah, I'll have to just change the, the link permissions and stuff for things. I don't understand why they wouldn't let you link, like, a... A friggin' clip. That's weird. But anyway, yeah, have a good night, guys. Have a good night. My back is killing me. I need to go lay down. <laughs> All right, we had fun. I enjoy exploring the pre maids. But yeah. All right. I'll see you guys sometime <laughs> in the future. Well, I'll be here Thursday, and I've got a video ready to upload tomorrow on my YouTube. Oh, so, yeah. I'd link the friggin' Discord, but I think. I think our bot is still asleep. I think... Oh! Kanuti woke back up! Kanuti bot woke back up! I'm gonna do the YouTube. He's alive! He's here! Okay. <laughs> Alright, he's awoken! He's awoken! Thank you for joining us, Kanuti bot! <laughs> Thank you! Anyway... Yeah. Alright. I guess I'm gonna go. I still haven't made an ending scream. Scream? Screen. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I gotta go.
Have a good night. <laughs>